solo Want my love, baby, earn it Yeah Dancing on my own See if you can follow Got me feeling alive Watch me go Good morning. What's new, Pussycat? Friday. Oh, you know, every every day is Friday in Crimes and Fashion World. Every day is actually Groundhog Day for me. It's, you know, so I guess it's a good thing that they're all Friday since, you know, they're all Friday. What's happening, kids? Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay. I got a I got a nice little champagne buzz going right now. <laughs> I'm wearing my my silk Hugh Hefner animal print pajamas. And I'm about ooh. Oh, I'm about half a bottle down on um well, some champagne that I I thought was something else. But you know, it's actually not for, it's, it's not bad. It's not what I thought it was, but it's, it's, it's not bad. You know, it's kind of, I find with, uh, anything that's wine related and, you know, champagne is just, well, sparkling wine, um, wine with, you know, gas, uh, I find that basically after two, they all taste the same. <laughs> so when I first tasted this, I thought, "What? Wait a damn minute! That is ah, uh, that is not my Vouve. That that doesn't taste like the uh." And I know I'm not pronouncing it right. I'm not French. I did, however, Google it just because you know I'm a bougie bitch and I. I like to at least make an effort at sounding like I know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so, yes, uh, this this is not the Vouve. vouve. I, I should say, well, I, I thought it was Vouve Clicou, 
but it's actually more like vuv, vuv kliku. I should have known by the very, I should have known by the very large price disparity that, oh, my goodness. And when I went to ch- let my fingers do the walking and I saw, what is the difference between vuv? Hold on. What the hell is this shit called? Vuv Duvernay um, and Vuv Clicou. Well, uh, high two to low three digits. That's that's what the difference is. <laughs> but I just saw it in the grocery store and I was like, holy shit. I didn't know the grocery store sold this. And wait for it. Even better. It's pink. It's pink. It's white. It's pretty. All I saw was that. Boof. 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 Uh, and made in France. And I was like, well, damn. It can't. Listen, all the best things are made in France and Italy. Um, yeah. So I, I was only going to the grocery store for a couple things. So when I walked out with a couple bags, and it was the, you know, well, not quite what I expected, but not completely out of line with what I expected. I just didn't think anything of it. And I got home and I was like, oh my God, what a deal. So, wait a minute. Now, you know the old saying, sometimes you get what you, well, most of the time you get what you pay for. I should have known. Hello? Hello. Are you with me? I'm with you. Are you okay. with me? There we go. All right. I Hello, got you doll. now. All right. I thought my favorite champagne was discounted to, well, when I got my receipt out, I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I should have known. But you, it, after the good two, is the good oh, stuff's fine. never discounted. Yeah, but I wasn't really paying attention when I was at the store because it, I should have known, but just based on the total price of the bill. Right. Like, okay, well, yeah. I just yeah. thought, oh, it's a pretty pink, pink and white bottle. Oh, there, you know, the picture of the Eiffel Tower on the front. Yes. That probably should have clued me in too. Probably. I mean, it could have been. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It could have been a clue, but we don't always follow clues in this life. Half a bottle in and I'm like, Viva (laughs) la France. (laughs) Oh, I I still haven't started yet. I must be. Oh, well, you better, you better like get on it, girl. We're not going to be speaking the same language. That's right. Oh, goodness. Well, oh, goodness is right. Here we are. It's Friday again. It's Friday. It's oh, the Golden it's Girls. It's, so- it's the Golden Girls again. Oh, damn you to hell for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do, you know, I, I do, I, oh, I do live in Florida. I don't know yeah, where the rest of no. you are, but I know. Yeah, gotta love it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm half a bottle in. I, uh, do you like my lovely purple? Yes. It's not as purple as it looks, but oh God, they're it, so gorgeous. I think it's fabulous, Dolly. Oh, yes. yes. I See, love, I love a long stem goblet. Yes. It, I, you know, it's ironic that the ice bucket that the champagne's in, um, yeah, I could probably buy a case or two. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, just don't touch. My husband looked at me like, "What the hell You're are you doing?" Fucking it. What? Oh, bitch, don't do it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Honey, leave it in your office when you're done, and I'll retrieve it in the morning. Yeah, That's and I, right. I will. Like, I will not touch the ice bucket. I'm, no. I'm gonna leave it there. Well, if yours is like mine, it's so heavy you can't. So. It's it's pretty heavy. Um, and if I'd have, you know, I don't have another. If I'd have had a a larger, well, yeah, I I find that like nice ice buckets mm-hmm. 
unless you use uh chipped ice which i don't uh, what comes no not what comes out of my fridge um it it defeats the whole purpose because if i were to actually be able to get the bottle back in the bucket to chill mm -hmm. when i wanted it to chill right uh, chances are i'd break the bucket so well this is why we use round ice oh yes the big oh, i have uh -huh. those fabulous silicone molds I, yes. There was no time for that. There was no time. For no, that. no. This was a quick jump in it. You know, let's do this. I didn't know it was going to be a champagne kind of night, but I was <laughs> standing in the <laughs> checkout line and I, you I saw it. that. I, it I, called uh, you. It, it did, called you. It, it literally was in my line of sight. And I thought, what the hell? I'm, uh huh. We're going to, let's do this. Every day is a party. Yes. Yes. I, I I thought today was gonna signal the end of the um the construction, but oh no, oh oh no. It's, oh, no. it's it's done for the most part. They were just coming to hang like three pendant lights in the kitchen. Uh-huh. They didn't show up. I'm a little I'm a little salty about that. Um I would be, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> but that's it. Um everything else. I'm one of these people that I can't until the last screw gets turned. <clears throat> I like my entire dining room is covered with uh, new things to to go in various places. But yes. I will not. I won't put any of it out until it's all done. Exactly. My husband's like, honey, you don't. We don't have to have those pendant lights up for you to get all that shit out of the dining room. And I'm like, no, we do. We do. I have to have everything because I don't want to have to move it again. Do you either. do that? Like, yeah, no. Nah. I, I think a lot of women do that. It's not just. Yeah, that. I just, yeah, I got to have everything so I know what it's going to look like and, and how can I, oh, let me change this. Oh, let me change that. I'm Whereas if I have to wait, then there's things you know, that are obstructing my vision, my visionary idea. Okay. I've, I've just got to get like, I'm, I'm even tired of shopping now. I'm just, I'm done. <laughs> I, I, I need it to be done. I need it to be done. I need it to over be over. And done. My, my dog and my, my cats needed to be done. Mm -hmm. um, I, let's see. Heels texted me probably, well, I don't know, hour, hour and a half ago, maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, oh, look, she was here at, well, she was here at 545, leaving a, leaving a message. And okay. I, I hope. She having chocolates? I hope she knows it's, it's Eastern. Eastern standard and not central time. <laughs> but I don't think we should break with tradition. So no. In the meantime, we can say hi. We'll say hi to the yes. chat. Yes. Say to he hello hi, to the Glory. class. How are you, Glory? Willow son. How are you? Heather B. Beachy, nice to see you. Marlo Gus Jack 3. Oh my God, I can't believe I even managed to say that. How are you? That was very good. Hey, Cece. Yes, cheers, Heather B. Beachy. Hey, Pamela. August. T. Berry. It does look pretty glory. Um, I can't say that I would buy it again. It's not the worst thing I've ever had, but it's uh, <laughs> definitely not what I was expecting. And come to find out, the, the French word, vouve, 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 yeah, that. Um, well, I forgot what it means, but it's a very, it's a generic French throwaway word. Um, that uh, you just don't, don't make the mistake I made and think that when you see the word vu, <coughs> yeah, that is that vous it, mean that it means you because well, vu can mean spell not. it. Spell it. Uh, v e v e u v e. Vuve. Okay. That well, see, I 
I thought it was pronounced vuve, mm -hmm. but then vue, I listened vue, to vue, a dude vue. who was like vue, vue, vue. Yes, it's it's vuve. Yeah, well, he was a French man. I, I am. Oh, well, there you go. No, yeah, I, I'm gonna vuve. Yeah, I like I like the ring of that. So right. sue me, I'm not French. Sorry. Hi, and it's Gary. just a, a brand or the man, the, you know, it's but, not but a particular. It, it means something like live or life or I don't know. Yes. What it doesn't mean is. Well, actually. Good no, champagne. No. That's what it doesn't mean. No, actually, it means widow in French. I looked it up again. Oh, now, wait, are you sure that's not the clicou? No, no, this is. Uh, okay. Because I've read the same thing, but I thought okay. the, the widow was the clicou. No, the widow is just vuve. When it's mm -hmm. vuve, 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 yes, or vuve. Uh, that yes. refers to the fact that they know they can put the cork. It's something to do with the way the the bubbles come to the top and and yes. how the cork is placed. Yes, exactly. Yes. Oh, so see, I can absorb something much like these yes. bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Cece Jones. Cece, I don't know what's happening. I never know what's happening. Yeah. Hey, JP. No, uh, yes, she, she probably is on the chocolate. Um, she better be. <laughs> I... Hey, Stitching. How you doing? Yes, we need her to have the chocolates. Hi, Ms. Brittany. Ruby Joy. Is that Ruby Sue's sister by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's I have a Joy. it might be. <laughs> Let me look at that avatar. Oh no, wait! I don't know. Ruby Joy is. I don't know. Ruby Joy. Ruby Joy is one of the gang. She's one of the Ruby girls. Joy looks a little too old to be Ruby Sue's sister. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I could be wrong about that. It's a picture of a dog. I know, but Ruby Sue is a dog as well. But Ruby Sue oh. is. Is that's Rowena's dog is Ruby Sue. Oh, and she, but she's a little puppy, so I don't, I don't know. I don't. Ruby Joy either looks like an Airedale, or I think it's a a, a, a Labradoodle Doodle. It's Golden Doodle. Yes, some kind of so, a doodle of some sort. It's a doodle. Poor, my God, the poor poodle. It's like the damn club soda of the dog world. Just they mix everything with it. <laughs> they do. <gasps> and poodles, you know, they're quite emotional also. You know, I've only known a few people in my life uh, who have ever had a standard poodle. Mm -hmm. But the couple people that I do know say that they, okay, Ruby is a golden doodle. Yes. Um, say that they are absolutely the most fantastic dogs that they, they say that about great Danes as well. I had a great Dane also. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yes. I remember you told me that yes. they are docile, right? That's what I've always heard. He was so docile. I, I don't know if I told you his mother was jet black and they, her name was Ebony and, and the mother was a, uh, a highly, highly renowned, executive security dog oh <clears throat> yes yes you did tell yes me that. yes and so he came from a champion line of great danes problem was he had one blue eye one brown eye and was blind in one eye because one oh. of the puppies scratched his eyes so he could not be trained for executive uh security and the trainer kathy um, she provided executive security for some of the most famous people you would have ever heard of. And, um, cool. yeah, but uh, he was so docile and so he was just goofy, you know? Um, I know he, somebody who got a dog from, uh, Armando Sante, a, uh-huh. I think it was a Malinois and not yes. a German Shepherd, but it looked just like it's a Malinois. I don't know anything about those dogs, so I'm not sure which one it was, but it looked a lot like a German Shepherd. But it's I a think Belgian it was Malinois. 
Yes, I yes. think it was probably that, but mm -hmm. it was actually a gift. Yes. Because Armando Sante, um, I don't know if he still does, but at one time he bred them. Yes. For executive security. Oh, that I yeah, I don't know. Yes. Did your dog um, come from Armando Sante? Uh no. But those dogs are 150 to 200,000 to train for executive security. But that's why our military and our police departments use them. Damn. That's... The dogs that they buy are. What kind of house do you have to keep those dogs in? You have to be very young, very active. Um, Heels, I'll put it down uh, right now. And, and to uh, have enough room because they don't, they don't, lay down they they are always moving so they have to have constant stimulation they're incredible dogs they are the best with families but young people okay what in the hell is this avatar <laughs> i'm i'm tired of catfishing okay oh, so you're just god. going straight up oh my god i love chocolate oh i, I love you heels you just make I my love life you too. That, you, know, you make my life. That Hot. face on that avatar looks like it was made with pantyhose and cotton balls. I know. <laughs> I know. What did they used to make? There used to be dolls like that, cabbage right? Cabbage Patch dolls. Yeah, the Cabbage oh, Patch dolls. They were one, the OG yeah. Cabbage Patch dolls. The real yeah. ones before they went nationwide <laughs> syndication, they were made by Xavier Roberts with pantyhose. Well, like, you know, not. Not the legs in the egg pantyhose, right, right. more like support hose. Um, yes, with yes, with stuffed with some kind of cotton batting and uh, you know, like yarn <laughs> hair, and they'd take a sharpie and draw. Hey, it. Nika. Yeah. Hey, Anissa, how you doing? Oh my god, hey, Anissa. I thought Ooh, this oh. was a again. Oh, oh hello. Now everyone. wait a minute. Boo, the class. Booth Mall. Booth Mall. Boo, Booth Mall. She has Malinois. Are you, are you by any chance of Mar Armand Asante? <laughs> oh, yeah. I like him. I was, yeah. <clears throat> I, when I found out my friend got a gifted a, uh, one of those, a Malinois, I always think of a, 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 a can't, what's that cookie? The Akita. There's a cookie that sounds like Malinois. Anyway. I was like, well, I don't want a Malinois, but can you see if Armando Sante can come over for life? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Malinois. He, he doesn't look quite as good as Malabar. he used to. What's I Malabar? Want, none of us do. Malamars. It's, yes. They have Malamars, the, yeah. No, the Malabar. Malabar. Not okay. Malamars. <laughs> oh, God. No, Malabar. What? What? She's That's had champagne. Cookie. That's Heels. the damn cookie. It's Malabar. And both of you are like, Malabar. I said yes. shit. No. Yes. <laughs> I didn't say anything. You said yes, yes. Well, because you like, know. No. I was trying to be agreeable. Yeah, why? Why start now? I was going to say. Um, just say. Anyway, that's what um, Malabar reminds me. Now, I know what it's called, but I don't have a damn clue what it looks like and or tastes like. So this is not an endorsement or a condemnation <laughs> of a Malabar because I don't know what the hell it is. This is for educational purposes Voices. for the 1976 Fair Use Act. Hey, I, JP, we talked about that. Tonight. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, Muffin. Hey, Lawson. Oh, damn. Um, I was listening to Voices. Uh earlier going going off on somebody we're going to talk about here in a little bit okay. oh, I, I, I don't want to give that bitch any i don't want to give her any um Street she's had press. enough attention she'll Stop. show up she's like that whatever it's called that shows up freddie like and i'm like not gonna a bad refer to her by her name yeah so hey thinking. nonsense i was like hey nonsense I'm like, like okay, a virus what can we, what can we call her Wait a minute. I, nonsense, I just, that's that's mean, not nonsense. I did the rhyming game. Oh, it's not? It says he oh, also right here. Here we go. I just got rid of her. Molly said hello. Hey, Molly. Um, <laughs> now I just lost my train of thought. Oh, yes. I know. 
this Ma instead of this one's name. We're not going to use her name. We're going to call her. And I had to just do some kind of like something that rhymed. Uh -huh. So I came up with, we're going to call her Grime Hooping <clears throat> instead of. Can we give her initials? GP. Okay. How, the, how about that? That's good. Yeah. Um, I already forgot who we're talking about. Well, we're not going to say it. I'll, Let me. I'll put yeah. It in the back chat. Okay. Stop I'm, talking. I'm, I'm going to get alcohol. Okay, this is going to piss me off right now. Oh, I hear it. What is it doing? Yeah, my TV just started playing. Oh. Uh, it's nice. Okay. Okay. So. Here we go. She will show up. Oh, well, that's fine. She can show up. Um, I This is not an open <laughs> panel. I, it, because apparently for some <laughs> reason, there are some people that run around this place. Um, oh, JP says no. That sounds like JP. <laughs> oh. Um, um, well, what's wrong with grime pooping? I, I don't, I mean, oh, whatever you want to call her, I think that's grime good. Pooping. Uh, crazy, okay. nurse, just, just, try to, just take it's, a note, take a note, ma'am. Um, yeah, I'm not going to give her any what well, she said, we'll, we'll the law to your nurse gets back, and then hey, Coco. Hi, Coco. How you doing? Um, yeah, so I, I was listening to Voices was on Laura's panel, and they, you know, Voices, she actually struck Voices as she was live. Oh, my God. But yeah, she, that one, let me tell you something. I remember her from about two years ago when she pulled that real grimy move on White Rabbit's panel, acting all... Oh, I'm just a babe in the woods. I don't know anything about this um, place or how it works. And yeah. the name of my channel is, and then, you know, shouted, ma'am, are you mad? Because, like, I, I saw her, like, uh, verbally assaulting uh, some poor man out in front of a courthouse. And I'm like, is she mad because she has no discernible waist and she's trying to wear, like, a little rope tie belt? Well, I where did that come that from? That. Where did the video come from? Uh, voices would know that. Oh, okay. Um, it was actually news footage. Oh, okay. It was news footage from a protest. And I guess she was there about uh, protesting the mask mandate. This was... Uh, maybe a couple of years ago. Um, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay, just you know, write your write a little note if. But now that you know, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. If you know, you know. Yeah. And, and the reason I will not say her name is because I am very much of the opinion that that one ain't right, and <laughs> because and and that does not necessarily. Uh, set her apart from a lot of people around here but to me when you are so fucking thirsty that you are literally like a dog salivating and will go on will will willingly and quite purposely go on panels of people that you know like they don't really have any use for you but you're so thirsty to be seen and heard on a channel that's bigger than yours that you will go up there and subject yourself to um that certainly was not abuse not no not what i heard it was just you know asking some hard questions that she that bitch is a clown okay she's a clown and i will we will <laughs> not be saying her name because uh -uh. that's what she wants. She wants everybody saying her name so mm -hmm. that people will go, <clears throat> oh, who's this? Just people just take my word for it. Okay. Yeah. Trust I us. don't know, Marbella. Oh, God. What? Again? Oh, I didn't know that. 
Are you sure? Well, hopefully Betty will just get on the phone with, you know, she's she's pretty important around here. So Has she, she gone to Tennessee? get on the phone and do something about that. Yeah, right. I, I mean, I yeah, I don't I don't know. I typically only ever listen to Morbid on the replay because I'm not. First of all, we're on a three hour time difference. And I'm not a night owl. I don't. I don't YouTube at night, so I don't know what. I don't know what might have gone on, but. And yet, here we are. Oh, boy says girl. I was so. Boy, you were just starting to hit your stride when you got. You said, "Oh, I gotta go," because yeah, she's like. And listen, she's just like Batista Betty, which is why they're birds of a feather, and. I have to tell you, this is how I know that she's a real shit bag. Because even though I don't think anybody um, needs to wow, thank you. reacquainted with my thoughts on Betty, but despite what I think about Betty, I still don't think it's cool to be covertly taping and recording people and bitch i don't care whether it's your right to do it or not it's grimy and it's gross and when you've got somebody like me taken up for betty in that instance because it's just gross it's grimy to record someone without their knowledge and then to release said ill-gotten gained audio and i have exactly zero fucks to give for betty but it's still gross because she's gross oh kayla i saw that oh what Hi. yeah well that that sound yeah i saw i, I saw like a little bit of it. Oh, that you yeah, know, that's, yeah, that's bad. What are we calling her? Gooby, gooby, gooby. gooby uh, whatever. Just remember, it, it's rhyme. It's rhyming. So now I have to remember. Oh, grime and pooping. Not that uh, a lady such as myself would typically use such a juvenile term, but it was the best I could come up with on short notice. So how about grimy toothing, toothing? Tooth. Oh, I, I kind of like poopy. I mean, the other one is more apropos, but the, the okay. yours sounds more classy. What, what okay, was yours? Okay. Using? okay. He also so, have an option to throw into the pot. I won't remember anything you say. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, okay. So, why did she even? I mean, she can't re. I don't understand what her thing is. Like, why is she recording Betty? Because maybe because Betty was recording her and she knew it. I don't think it was because, oh, I didn't even know it was on three times. Oh, bullshit. I mean, come on. How stupid. I mean, that alone <laughs> is enough reason for me to think she's a bag of shit. Because anybody who who thinks that all the rest of us are so stupid that they would offer that by way of explanation, just say nothing or say it's stand on it and just say, because it's what I do. If you don't like it, she is the, don't talk to me. No, she, what is Lauren? She gaslights like a mother. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is all she does. Yeah, I, I think that's probably indicative of um, mental or illness. Sh or sh I shouldn't say indicative, I should say. I think that probably goes along with some things that may or she may or may not be um, afflicted with. See, nobody knows who we're talking about. Well, um, her her initials are CS. I'm not going to say her name because I'm not going to give that bitch any... It, it, people, that's good that people don't know who we're talking about. <laughs> well, well, let's just say that it's I mean, the creator that appeared on Dietz's panel. Was it, was it the night before last? 
She's um bangs. She got a lot bangs. There you go, bangs. Now I'm kind of understanding why people adopt these these funny little names because there you go. Yes, bangs. There you go. That's I don't I don't know why I didn't remember that. That's perfect. <clears throat> Yeah, because everybody's like, who are you talking that? about? Thanks. You on board with that? Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I don't I, care because I never listened to her. So I don't. Fine. I was just gonna say, I listen. I had her number <laughs> when she pulled that shit two years ago and twenty seven hundred screen names ago. Uh, I had her number immediately. That you don't listen. You do not have to be a YouTube alumni. You don't have to be around here like, I don't know, more than five minutes. You just have to be a normal, um, polite, semi-respectable person <clears throat> to know that you do not go on someone's panel and shout out your channel name. You just, nah. you don't do that. It's... Hey, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. You just don't do that shit. Back it's up. Yeah. We need to back up. So I but she's very calculating in what she does. You know? I mean, but she's she's good at segueing while trying to get out of trouble. She just kind of slides into... She's good at filibustering is what yeah. she's good at. Yeah. But, Not gerrymandering. Uh, you know, gerrymander is married to Sally Mander. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she'd like to redraw the YouTube redistricting lines, but right. you know, she, she won't be able to do that. Um, okay, can you explain when she recorded Betty, then she gave, then somehow, I guess you recorded Cher? Let's really because, make this fun. Let's invite somebody who knows. If she would like to. Voices, do you want to come up? Yes. Because voices will know. I don't, I truly, I don't have the answer to that because I don't pay attention to her. I knew what she was all about. I don't like rude, thirsty people like that. Yeah, and I remember it from savages. Voices, just don't say anything to get, get me um, in trouble. Because <laughs> you know she's probably, well, I'm, I'm not important. I'm not anybody she'd watch because I can't do anything for her. So, but... That that doesn't mean that she wouldn't be, you know, spiteful. A beat. A beat. All right. So, all right. So, voice is going to come up and answer your question, Heels. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, I've known, her, known about her being around. I don't believe there was something about Olivia was making, I think, a map for the Kylie Rodney. A map? Yeah, a map of where the fire cameras were. Oh, okay. And I think she just took uh, Bang's work and didn't credit her. Oh. At least that's her story. Oh, I find that hard to believe. Because do we really think that Olivia needed help from Bang's? Listen, yeah. if you look at the community wall before, like, if you look at her community wall, um, she said that she did voiceover work for Olivia. That means that I would dare to say one of the Jane or one of the Jane Doe's was probably Slime Slim. Uh -huh. Slime Slim. No, wait, who are the Jane Doe's? What's what is that about? Because I don't watch uh -huh. her, so I don't and I don't watch Olivia. So I, think I don't that know. Was, I think that was Kylie Rodney's case. Right. Um, Oh god! Kids oh, from that. There was Jane Doe. Okay. Yes, because that was gonna... one and two. I... It was like, yeah. Well, and she disguised the voices. Remember, but I would not put it past any of them to do that. Yeah, wait, you know so, what I mean? Uh, exactly. What she did to me. What she's doing, you guys, is she'll hit you with a bullying and harassment, and then she hits you with a copyright. So the minute you get the copyright lifted, the bully and harassment goes on. And then you she end up on a 10-day timeout like me. But be yeah, careful I, if you're going to show. Oh, I but know. If, I, 
Nope, I won't be showing anything that don't. she's pictured anywhere on. No, 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 no. Don't show what we did on Laura's last night because that yeah, no, I wasn't was going for to. bullying and harassment. What did you show? Uh, a news me. clip. Well, oh. I, I was, I lost my shit when she struck me while we were live. I'm, wow. I've, I think, uh, you know, I haven't been around as long as many but i've i've seen enough um, <laughs> I, I think in the scheme of losing your shit that was probably maybe like a three on the richter scale <laughs> <laughs> I, I think i've seen you lose your shit a little i don't know that i i would categorize that as losing your shit but you'd know well, better than me but that was for me on my new meds that was losing my shit mm. the old mm. stuff we'll pass was, those over um, this way <laughs> yeah, right. go, what I'm going to tell you is to go get genocide testing done and they'll find the right one that works for you. Because that's what they I don't take me. any, but I mean, I might. This place makes me want to take some. <laughs> so, hey, like, it just, I, not that, it, but that's how well, much of a yeah, difference it makes in my, in my mental health. That's how much of a difference that the, the switch in meds has been. Well, I just, I was listening to that. This morning, so I, I was already on the oh, right sure. but what I heard was I, I mean, I think I've been more um animated in my thoughts on her, but but yes, as you were talking, <laughs> I she voices just said, or so, I think somebody in the chat said it might have been Avery said, I think she just struck you again. And, and what is she? What is going on with her? Not that she she's doing anything wrong. She just popped up there to thank me for telling her to fix her oh, wonky eyelash. eye eyelashes. I was in my bathroom listening to that, going, you know, I was putting my own war paint on. I'm like, well, Avery, <clears> girl, I were they that bad? I didn't. I ne I never watched well, her. Were they bad? Yeah, they were bad. Oh, they were. There's a there's a learning curve, ladies. Learning how to put lashes on it can take years. Yes, no, Kathy, yeah. I got it. I got struck again last night, and she did the same thing with a copyright and then a bullying and harassment. So the minute I lifted the I got the copyright lifted. Then by putting it into taking, you know, saying I'm appealing it, going into DCMA court, then she turned right around, um, and hit me with a bullying and harassment. So now I'm off for ten days. And then she used the information on the copyright form and contacted law enforcement. Well, it's grandma's address. That's my permanent address. So she sent the cops to a fucking 86 year old woman's house. She sent the cops. Oh my gosh. Over For what? YouTube bullshit. Because you played a video? Why did she send the that, cops to me? That, that she ain't right. I mean, it's so. Because I was making threats on the internet. Oh. <laughs> okay. So does everybody else. I mean. There has to be a credible threat with imminent danger. Right. So. She keeps doing that shit to too many more people. And well, this shit can be done to her. I was going to. Hey, I'm not doing that. I'm more concerned about the fact my 86 year old grandmother. Yeah, that's who's still recovering from a broken but hip. What is she... So, what did the cops do? Nothing. 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 It's a. Hey, not I mean, it was a. We need to make sure that you're like. Are you okay? What? Okay. Yeah, that's that's vile. I mean, that that to me, it's like. I don't understand a lot of things that a lot of people do, but that. That takes vile to new levels. How do you, how could you take this shit that seriously? Thank I mean, you. no, not you. I, I don't mean about your. No, she said, I mean, thank you. Oh, yeah. I think. No, I, I thought she said, I do. I, <laughs> it's just. I, I I don't take it that seriously. I'm not going to send the cops to her door. Uh uh. No, of course not. Of course not. What? Like I don't. I don't know. 
I, she is. And I shouldn't have to live in fear on putting my information down on a DCM, on a false DCM copyright, that that's going to result in having law enforcement show up at that person's door. Exactly. Why would you do that, though? Don't put your real you sure stuff on her? there. Like, Listen. What? It's, Come on. I shouldn't have to live oh. in well, fear of it doesn't this matter. Bullshit. Yeah, but you have to. Should, I mean, if you don't want them going to your grandmother's house, then you need to use a dollar ninety nine attorney. Uh -huh. Because just because you don't want them to, they will. Exactly. I wouldn't have that bitch. I might. Well, everybody mm -hmm. has my address. Well, what is she going to do? Because now there's nothing else that she can do. Because now she burnt her one and only. Does she realize that I live in a town that, like, I live in a town of less than twelve hundred people? Yeah, Does true, she realize yeah. that I'm related to the sheriff and I'm related to the deputy, the two deputy sheriffs, <laughs> and I'm related to about nine of the fucking sheriff's deputies that drive all over the goddamn county? So again, well, Iris, you know, I got it. It's on online descriptions. And said, "Hey, dude, what the fuck are you doing?" Right. Go ahead. Again, I live in one of the. I live in the most remote state in the fucking union. I was gonna say, I'm an that's... independent missing persons advocate who works hand in hand with law enforcement in seven fucking counties. They all know me. <laughs> and now, where did I hear that? Oh well, it was you. Did you not say something about the attorney general? Yes. Tell us, well, enlighten the other uh, people listening Listen, who may not have heard. exploiting a victim's family or exploiting a victim for your own financial profit, that's a crime. Yes. Well, I'm sure uh, crazy and, nurse doesn't know this, and heels may or may not know, but tell them about... Um, I guess there was some money collected. Yep. Or, or wait. For Didn't Kara she... Northington. And then she pledged $1,000. And who, voices, who is Kara, that? Who Kara is... Northington is yeah. the mother of one of the Idaho Four. Okay. Okay. Because I was... I gathered that based on what I heard, but I, I didn't know. Um, and she owes her quite a bit of money because... There was some bullshit pulled, and Deets and Melissa Jade all busted and chasing all busted her out on that. And what was what was that? What for people who that may was, not know? Uh, apparently, she... she raised money that was going to go to Kara to help get a roof over her head and and all the stuff and all the things, and then it didn't transpire that way. Mm -hmm. Um, she dry bags a lot. Yep. I mean, I was listening, trying to find something, and every one of them, it was, yeah, well, when I get my this, or when I can do this, and I'm out this much. Yep, yep, yep. And then the second thing was... Um, you think, Taylor, is there a mod in here? Mm -hmm. Well, you're one. I'm not. Yeah, you are. Oh, I can't do it here. We can't do it on screen. I was watching that. I'm. Do I need to take? I got out? it. Okay. And then uh, the other one that she did was pledged a thousand dollars for specialized trauma therapy for the victim that found the brutally unalive body of Rachel Morin. And she came in and said, I'm just feel called to do this and I'm going to pledge this thousand dollars, which that was all based off of her probate. But it, but she she wrote, well, let me remember the word. Who said these words? Oh, I think it was uh, chasing Tracy. Uh, I'm slightly paraphrasing. I think she said this the following to Betty. Your fat ass wrote a check that your mouth can't cash. Something, yeah. something. Okay, she did something similar. Oh, she totally did. That she doesn't even have to probate for. It's not even settled yet. Pro she thought what the it hell was is she be, talking about probate? With, the money was going to come from her inheritance, and it had to go. But it was the, her inheritance is still in probate. She, I know probates definitely her. That Taylor. I know probates that can be tied up for thirty fucking oh, years. Yeah. Ah. 
Yeah, because yeah. I know what she said. The new screen name, please. Um, that's hilarious, bitch. If you need to wait on right. probate to write a thousand dollar check, yes. How big could that estate be? I mean, <laughs> well, there's there's some whole bunch of question to that too. And then she told everybody to look it up, and when they looked it up, then she got mad. Hey, I gotta take a five minute pause. My steak is. I just got the notification oh, no, that my no, steak is ready. That's Let me a run five down. minutes now. A well done Let me steak. Run down. Oh. I gotta run oh, downtown yeah. okay. real quick. No problem. And uh, I will oh, stop the thing. drift. Thank you. For I'll helping. be right back and I'll eat supper with this and we'll get We'll get back on track. Okay. Be right back. <laughs> Bye. That was funny. Well, this just gets juicier and juicier or whatever you want to call it. I don't. What a nightmare. Oh, now look. My what? goodness. Some people are very creative with their, their alts. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i don't know i listen y'all i'm seriously starting to consider that this friday night happy hour is going to be my entire youtube career because it may be <laughs> seriously i i i i just i don't under, i don't get it i do not get it i, I don't I, either when i watch educated sane people who would never in a million years do a lot of the shit that we see going on all around us on a regular basis that people tend to start to normalize. Yeah. To myself, yes. like none of this shit matters. Like I talked to both of you mm -hmm. off of this app. Yeah. I don't need YouTube to talk to you. No. And it could never be this place could never be important enough to me to, <clears throat> no. to do like, I just don't get this crazy shit that people do. I, I I'm telling either. you, I think it's, this is all just a whirling dervish of out of check egos <clears throat> combined with some not very bright people. Nobody well, it seems like the people that protest are the ones that are the worst here. Me thinks thou dost protest too much. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lack yeah, because of painful employment, that's another problem. I mean, yeah. uh -huh. and then you throw the money into it and and it's just it's insane. I mean the money, she can't be making that much. No one. No. I mean, it's very few. That make enough to. You would think, yeah. I, yeah. For her, I don't think it's about. I mean, I don't know the bitch. I don't want to know her. Uh, um, I don't either. I, I don't. I tend to think it's not about money. Um. Listen, I stand by my original <clears throat> thoughts. Well, anybody, she... anybody who who is like salivating to go <clears throat> into a lion's den that. Even if you know that they think you're full of shit, yeah. they're not going to be, you know, I don't think anybody would say Dietz was going to attack anyone. It uh -uh. wouldn't be like if she's not but she's going to check like that, but she like <laughs> she she seems to live for that kind of shit. Like she well, but I mean, Dietz will fact check you the minute she says something. Dietz has 15 people sending her proof. And yeah. she fact checks her right there, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. So and, why lie? She knows that. She knows. Because that's the thirst. That's where the thirst comes in. It's like, I so badly want to be seen by this many people. I want all these people to hear me because I am, I'm so smart. I'm so right. I'm so important that, and I think it's, I don't know. I'm not a shrink, but it seems to be a weird, like, convergence of at one hand on one hand being wildly delusional of your own we'll just say abilities that you wildly overestimate them combined with what looks like narcissism but I don't think really is what I think it's more like inadequacy but but they kind of just well we do have a mental health um it's both provider. So former. Mm -hmm. Tell it's us. Both. So we do have a professional we can get the opinion from. So tell us that is it both? 
they can exist at the same time, hand in hand. Yes, yes. So look, I am a shrink by using mm-hmm. standards. Mm-hmm. Well, a narcissist is a weak, insecure person. Okay. I it mm-hmm. seems like everybody. I think the internet. <laughs> there's going to be a new, a new mental illness that's caused by the internet. Like there's yes. going to be a name for it. Absolutely. Listen, the DSM. I'll say this: the DSM. The <laughs> for anybody who what. I, everybody knows, but for the one person out there who might not, the diagnostic and diagnostic statistical manual containing mm-hmm. every conceivable mental illness um, with the insurance right, code, okay. probably hand in hand. Um, mm-hmm. It it has caught up with internet culture much faster than the legal system has and the oh yeah <laughs> yes it has so i do believe that is exactly right there will come a time when it'll i don't know what they'll call it but god i hope it's i hope they take suggestions do you think they cyber do? sickness cyber sickness i love that i love that that avatar i know the avatar is killing me which avatar <laughs> Yours, yours, oh. the, the pantyhose. Hi, <laughs> I love John. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah, I, you have them? that that panel we were just talking about. Uh huh. I was so, I it was I was very pleasantly surprised to see that it was like the United Nations that panel. There was a lot of people on that panel who have not probably. <laughs> Have you nine you have, months? And it was <clears throat> I actually all joking aside, I really I that really I I thought that was a great thing. I did. I missed it. I have to go back. Uh, well, I, I mean I it's I'll let if Heels wants to talk about it, she can talk about it. If not, we'll I'll fill you in later. Yeah. So, um so Glare was up there. Ah, jeez. Well, it was good. It was good. Well, it wasn't. Yeah, it was good. It was, but I knew he wouldn't because he is on his best behavior with Deets. So I knew he wasn't going to do anything crazy. What didn't? So I went up there. Talk mad smack on you, on Deets before. (laughs) Well, only back then. Back when all that stuff. I oh, he was talking was mad smack about me everywhere. I thought it was progress. He's a POS. Hey, Huntress. Hello, Huntress. But I didn't, hey, I went up there. I forget what we were talking about. But I went up there because I'm not, not going to anymore because someone, I mean, there are, there are certain people I won't go up with. Yeah. And that's because I'll, yeah. I'll be the bad one. Yeah, but yeah, I kind of tested it. Like I watched for a while, and he was going, "Oh, look, Hills has a good point." I'm going, "You just called me a fucking cunt like three days ago." Uh-huh. Or, he yeah. did. Oh, God. oh yeah. Listen. Did you not see my video? Oh, Hills. He I, even earlier earlier in the night, he took a couple of different pot shots, and we all were like, "La la 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 la, knock it off, stop it." At me? Yes, I couldn't. That's I, I wasn't couldn't even there. there. <laughs> I know. Oh. I don't think that's not stopped him in the past. So yeah, we're not gonna yeah, we're, we're not, not gonna break each other's like, hair. But yeah. I knew he well, wouldn't. And that's okay. I didn't think you were, but <clears throat> that's I I thought maybe things were because just because you're not there's a, a there's a huge distance between braiding hair and you're a cunt. There, there's a yeah. whole yeah. lot of room right. in here for the civilized folk. I mean, yeah, he's yeah. not civilized. If if but, Betty if Betty came up on this panel right now, I can pro- or anybody, the whatever that whatever her name bangs, I, I promise you, there's no world in which I would say to anyone, "Hey, fuck you, cunt." I, yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, never. Never. <coughs> no. No, but I know oh, how boy. he is with them. I got no problem. I got no problem because all that means is can't understand normal thinking. And when you get well, your 
I won't do it. I won't do it. Okay, JP. How do I do that? I got to leave for a minute. Or I don't. No, you don't have to leave. You just go heels. Because there's three dots. Go back to stage. JP, she'll go back to it at next Go back to stage. Go to the little blue box. No, go to the three dots, edit audio avatar. And hello yeah. to every anyone who came in while we were yakking. I'm I'm not being rude. I just hate to constantly interrupt people that y'all know how long winded I am. So hello. Yeah. Nice to see you. Thank you for thank you for coming and hanging out. Okay, carry on. Turtle talk. Yeah, that doesn't work for me. My so where did we what leave happened? off? Okay, so I got sent an email. Oh, she's going to change her avatar. Oh. <laughs> JP, see what you started now? So ah. I ended up getting sent an email from an, an email account that was just like a, a grime, grime something at gmail.com, right? Grime pooping? By any yeah, chance? Something, eh, maybe not pooping, but maybe it was Slytherin. Slu- I can't believe I, I'm sitting up here saying pooping. <laughs> I know. Like, you're really, you're I, slumming yeah, it tonight. That's, that's not usually. I know. I'm even wearing my damn Hugh Hefner silk pajamas. <laughs> and they match, by the way, with my high heels. Uh, heels, JP said you didn't have to do it right now. <laughs> But since oh. you did, I kind—I don't know. I kind of like. Well, it's too late anyway. I kind of like the chocolate one. I did too. Well, I'm all the I'm back to being Brittany. Be Brittany. Okay. I think it's okay. beautiful. Um, yeah, as far as glare, I mean, I'm just not going to not like. He's not going to run me off. You know what I mean? Like, if I want to go up there, I'm going up there. Yeah. And he was decent. You know. And that's I all, know listen, I was... that's all, to me, that was huge, huge progress. That And that's, that's I right, think Kate. that's the best anybody can expect or hope for. Yeah. Well, I won't go in his. Yeah, yeah, I got you. You know. Yeah. It's not like but... you're looking to go up on, on his panel. You're not looking no. to go right. But if it's she a mutual person and you want to participate in the discussion. Thing. Yeah. Where the discussion is about something, you know, are are fond of. Why can't you go somewhere and do it? Yeah. And that, I mean, hey, I think that whatever happened was the best case scenario. Hey, I call him. I call that one baby gap. Yeah. Uh, when she was up there, when what's her name, CS, was up on the panel, I was in back chat, and were you there, voices? I wasn't when I wrote she something out. She was reviewing I, it with Laura. But I, oh, I, I okay. watched it. in the back chat. She's something else. Yeah. That's all I wrote. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She did it. like that. Yeah. Like oh, you would have thought I'd written God knows what. But yeah, because I couldn't believe she just kept going and, and changing direction and deflecting and being a loser. That seems to be there was no um, ownership something of she it. excels at. She, she, oh, she is good at it. You gotta give her that. In, in politics because filibustering seems to be her thing. And <laughs> she just, she doesn't appreciate getting pushed back. I'm Much sorry. like the asshats on Capitol Hill don't appreciate exactly. you know, taxpayers pushing back on them. Well, it's like, Oklahoma are you going to believe your that? Man. Are you going to believe your lying eyes or me when we're watching the video? We can see what she did. No, I just touched him. No, <laughs> we like that, are watching can I it. Tell you what, that to me that pissed me off so bad. That man was was doing nothing, nothing offensive, and that you know what I kept thinking when that fucking scumbag. Pulled out his credit card or his debit card. It was about oh, reparations. Was money. And by the way, I, I don't so. agree with reparations. However, I whether I agree with it or not, if you are a person who has one fucking ounce of class in your body, you you would never in a million years. How much do you want? 
And you know what I kept thinking as I was putting my words? That is so I'm uneducated. Saying, you're um, you listen, broke ass bitch. I promise huh? you, whatever balance is on your debit or your prepaid, you know, vanilla sky credit card, you can't afford <laughs> it. So put it back. I mean, just so gross. It's like well, and wow. this man had been doing this every Wednesday since For 2018. Years, right? Two years after I dug in a little bit more, um, after listening to like what he was saying through the megaphone and how he was like he he wasn't engaging with him. At one point he no. did engage with at one he point he does engage him. with him with them. Well, but that's that only after, after he touched him? Yes. That's after all the other bullshit. I, I just, hey, so flow. I, I, I just, oh, the, the, the thought that I don't, like I said, I, I don't even agree with the man who is out there, the Reverend. You somebody. know, he wasn't. I don't agree with any of that. But who? Yeah, but what got me is he said he's not from here. That confused me. See, I didn't, I didn't get that. No, no, it, it was the, the, he what he said was they started chanting USA, USA, USA. Like right. I wasn't I, from here. Like oh, I'm not I thought you said, and I'm not, from, I'm not no. even from here. No. And oh, he, okay. Incidentally, I do believe he was there first. Was he not? <laughs> yes. I got that wrong. Since 2018. Every, but I mean that day when all that happened. He no, was I think he was. I think he walked up on it because the yeah, video. Was, uh, yeah, whether he was wrong or right, the way they reacted. That was my point, Eels. That was my point. It yeah. didn't matter. Just you know what? You can be anti. You can be anti-mask mandate and still wear a mask. <laughs> you may have somebody in your life that's immune compromised, but you don't okay, want well, the overreach of government. So a mask. don't do that. Yeah, I mean, listen, I support both of their, I don't agree with, well, I have to say, as far as the mask go, I wore the mask in the beginning when yep. they did the, after the first boost or whatever it was, I was like, fuck this, I'm, not, I'm done with this. Even though, listen. well, Florida was ahead of the curve. But yeah, we were. I, at one time, and presently, I was against both of those two people's positions. However, I would never condone either one of them putting their hands not okay. in like that. Hold on, hold on, Lisa. Yes. Look at the chat. I, I can't tell. Are they having? They're fine. Okay. Yeah. Listen, I'm. I am not. I just wanted to make sure because I didn't want you to get backlash oh, from. Hello, well, let me check. I, yeah, you know what? Listen, hey, Grant, I'm checking. I, I can never win. Anywhere. I just don't argue in here. Just don't well, do it I here. I don't even care if people argue because I'm done being the fucking. Well, it's like it to me, I'm but I mean, good. don't. That's no Look, respect. I got this. Well, I, I mean, if they could do, I'm not. I don't. I don't mind. So if people, came listen, in. Hot. I don't care if people go back and it forth. It might not be the real so slow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think it is. I don't think her it is. A little bit ago. Uh, okay. I, I just didn't want it to. But no, you know. thank you. I, I really wasn't paying no, attention. No, I do not watch the chat because I can't talk mm. and read at the same time. I know. But go yeah. ahead. You were talking yeah. about the mask, and then oh, well, I've just I <clears throat> bangs. Mm -hmm. While I don't, I was on board with that, but. After she was well, after she was standing on the courthouse steps, and the man who was up there uh, talking about reparations, I don't agree with that. However, you can disagree with someone all day long. That doesn't mean you should mm -hmm. ever, in any world, you don't put your hands on someone. I don't care no. whether it's like this or it's like get the fuck out of my face, whatever it is. You don't do it. So I just. Right. I don't know. I, I just don't understand 
the just like he was respecting their right to protest. Yes, they should have respected his. To the audacity of, ma'am, I don't care if it was one finger that you you don't have any business being that close to that man. To at ever that time, put, it was. At Nobody that time, that ever, could have been an assault charge. It, it, there, there's just no, no reason for it. Kind of, but I don't know. I guess I, I tend to come at things from how, how I was raised, and I, I understand not everybody comes from a different experience, but I just don't think you have to be a rocket scientist or know anything about anything to know. Things that are and are not proper to do. You don't touch not people. Everybody's doing it. I mean, I see so yeah. many videos of just... The other day I watched one where a woman... One was 60, one was like 40. Maybe it was on someone's panel. But she just gets out of the car and starts beating the shit out of the 60-year-old at a stoplight. Okay, well, who did this? Is this, is, this, is this the same person we're talking about? <laughs> no, 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 that no. Was... I'm just saying it doesn't take much anymore. No, no, and there's doesn't. always somebody with a camera that wouldn't dare put it down to help. Exactly. Yeah, that's <clears throat> we're just talking about society in general. Yeah, yeah, but that makes even, sense. Even things on <clears throat> here. I, I don't know. I So many things that I see on here, I just sit back and go, because listen, there's, there's a lot of people on here that I don't give a shit about. I don't like, Yeah. but what I don't ever do, I, I do not go to, I look at somebody's channel and their chat. That's like your house in your living room. I yes. do not go to other people's exactly rooms to purposely start shit yeah um, I that's just don't that and i don't get it when when people do that right, i don't understand it here's my thing this place means nothing to me exactly i've made a few little friends <laughs> a little yeah. irish right and at the end of the day these people mean nothing i can turn this off and continue exactly. with my other stuff that I watch on top of it or my other genres that I watch. Um, you know, this, these people mean nothing. So I don't get it. No. And I, I don't mean that to sound that way, but at the end of the day, I know exactly that's what, what you I mean. mean. You know, yeah. well, 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 I, don't feel that way. I think everybody, I don't feel that way at all. I think there are a lot of people on this platform that this is their life. And yes, I'm not going to judge them because they no, can't no, live a life that. that other people can. I even I, think when people say, I "Oh, go," understand that. Yeah, go smell no, some grass. I, I some people can't do that. Touch grass. Touch hey, grass. I some people can't grass. do that. Oh well, touch sand then. Touch dirt. Well, but touch I'm just sunburn. saying, honestly, I'm not criticizing not at all. Else. I'm just saying there are people that do take it hard you know mm -hmm. and they do they do bond yeah. because i and, listen and, i've had my heart i would never say broken but i've had some hurt feelings absolutely absolutely <laughs> i i don't devalue i fully understand <laughs> and appreciate that the stakes are different for everybody right yeah I too. I, i'm just saying that when it comes to all this arguing and stuff I don't care enough to argue. It doesn't mean anything to me. Oh, yeah. You know? I'm not going to go into someone's chat. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. No. And start. I'm like, that's no. not even classy at all. No. You don't go into somebody else's chat and start exactly. shit. Yeah. No. Oh, it's walk, like walking in to my home. Right. And, and start yelling at your nephew. Lisa's, Lisa's home with muddy shoes coming in, demanding Attention! Money shoes. Feet yeah. up on the coffee table. I, shoes on the yeah, couch. And, and my coffee table's yelling. in my bathroom right now. So. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, it's never going to be over with. 
Uh uh-uh. It is. It's it's hard. and get this and get hard. this. I actually we actually redecorated the master bedroom and the guest room. All and new, you know. <laughs> all it well, and I haven't remodeled the whole house. So there's that. I haven't done the whole house. It's just it's a it's a slippery slope. It's not done. Hmm. My- Remodeling is the biggest pain in the ass. It is. It is. And no matter. Oh, we're good for another decade, I think. Prime grouping is the biggest pain in the ass. What is? Grind grouping. Oh, let me see. Are we? I don't even know what that is. What's that mean? Grind grouping. Yeah, there we go. Good. Yeah, we got it. Bangs. That's one that everybody. Knows. Michelle Sabat, where? Oh God! Oh God! She loves him. She does. Hell yes! She had a mad crush on him, and he, Ooh. as long as she was giving him money, he was good with her. Oh uh, my God! That uh, that, um, I, that uh, Lauren, yeah. what's her name? Lauren. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Laguna. Della, Della Della Laguna. Laguna. Whatever. Yeah. Um, she keeps trying to get Michelle on her show. I did a video, a couple of videos on her, Lisa. Her name is Lauren De Laguna. And she keeps, she's passed, or she's gotten her law degree, but she can't pass the bar. Because <laughs> her <laughs> ethics. The ethics <laughs> are questionable. Oh, shit. Did hey, she not, Katie. like, know that they checked into that before she invested all that money in law school? <laughs> I guess not. Apparently I mean, not. she is. I'm just... Oh, God. Well, she's super chatting JLR. Who's super chatting JLR? Laguna. Yeah, JB. She is. You go back on her old videos. Oh my gosh. Oh God. She was talking to a flat earther guy, and I was like, wow. Oh no. Lord have mercy. Listen, Getting a plane room. I have to say that my husband is the guy that. Just because this is like the way we Super banter. Ten. My husband is the guy that just to keep me on my toes, he will all he will try 95% of the time to take the opposing position. My husband and does that. I snapped at him yesterday about OJ because I said, <laughs> well, you actually, Crazy Nurse had just texted me and said, OJ died, the, the world lost nothing, or something yep. to that effect, and I'm like, yes. ah, fuck him. And I said to my husband, oh my god, OJ died. Ooh, it looks like you got that steak. Oh, is that a prime rib? Mm-hmm. Looks, uh-huh. like, looks like you got it off the off the grill right on time. Because to, to make a well-done prime rib should be a felony. Um, oh, it should. For but real. my husband, when I said, oh, damn, OJ died. And uh, something about money came up. And I said, well, maybe the gold, I said, it'll be interesting to see if he, in the words of Joan Crawford, for reasons well known by her. I make no provisions for my daughter, Christina Crawford. <laughs> um, I said, it'll be interesting to see if the, if Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown Simpson's family attempts to whoosh, just snatch any assets that may have been there. And my husband's like, uh, they're not going to get shit. You can be sure that that was all protected in a trust da, da, da. and I was at the Keurig machine and I turned around and I said for once could you not take the side of the scumbag <laughs> <laughs> he said I'm not taking the side of the scumbag I'm just I'm just presenting the reality of it and I'm like well fuck your reality and fuck OJ Simpson he burn in hell and he that's that what I sound time. like also he does he does that all the time <laughs> I think OJ lived in hell. He did. When he got away with what he did, I said immediately, he will do something else and he's going to go to prison. I don't know what he'll do. And guess what? He did go to prison. Can and I, tell I you, was right. I did not 
remember until about an hour before I came in here and walked the dog. When you said something about, well, prison time is what, and I'm thinking to myself, he, shit, he didn't go to prison. And then it occurred to me, oh, yes, he did for that fucking trophy. Yeah. Yes. Hot, was it? Yeah, was it the trophy theft. Was it at least a Heisman? Uh, I, it, he didn't get it. A, I don't think he got it. It was Super Bowl, I think. I don't think he got a Super Bowl trophy. He went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. I didn't think he went to the Super Bowl. You know, maybe, he was a good looking guy and he was so like, he was even when he was old. He's still right, but I mean, he used to just seem like the best kind of guy. And when he was, was jumping nuts. luggage carousels yeah. for her, yeah, yeah, <laughs> until he. Yeah. Decided to go buck wild in a Bronco. Yeah, he was right. in that movie. Oh my God, it was I one of the funniest movies. Uh, Airplane. 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 Oh my, oh my God, that was so God. funny. Yes. That With, is still uh, funny to this Leslie day to me. Yeah. 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 His daughter oh, listen, lives over I in remember Jackson. his trial on court TV. Oh, yes. Me and my mother in law hey, was recorded on VHS. Tape. Yep. How oh, he did win a high yep. thing. Court TV, yes, he it was the Heisman. It was, I, I don't think he ever got a Super Bowl trophy. Okay, uh, well, I don't know shit about football, did, but I'll just be spitting and nothing. incidentally enough, the hotel he that man. he stole that Heisman out of was on the shitty end of the strip. It was the old end. He was, he was down by like Binion's. He wasn't, he wasn't at the, the nice, <clears throat> uh, well, I don't know. Mine too, JB. He wasn't think, at the five star. Yeah, like the Venetian. Well, the win. The win probably starts the newer end and anything. I don't remember which way the strip runs, but if this were the win, everything from here back towards the mm -hmm. famous Welcome to Las Vegas sign, that's mm -hmm. all very nice. Everything here forward of Binion's or maybe backwards, yeah. it, that's the old part of the. Yeah. Wasn't it called something station? Um, not yeah, not a uh, that that was like the Scooby Doo crew of memorabilia theft. <laughs> yeah, it really was. Do you, I? I mean, don't you think that that jury? It was my opinion, and I remember watching that trial. I yeah, think I that jury was trying to set the universe right. With that yeah. product. And I don't care. I'm good with it. Okay. Are we talking about OJ Simpson? Yes. Yep. When he yes. was convicted of the. Oh, I thought you meant the murder trial. I was like, what? No, no. I think the memorabilia trial and that verdict. I didn't see that. Yes. I think they were setting the universe right. <laughs> they were. They It's exactly because what he did didn't war really warrant that much time. But it was hard, hey, so. it sucked for him, didn't it? Yeah. Well, I remember I when it didn't suck enough for him because even in prison, he was still OJ Simpson. Yeah, yep. right. Yeah. I remember when the verdict came in and I had been watching it and I went to my mom's house. I don't remember why, but I went over there and uh, she goes, The verdict is in. I said, Oh my God, okay. We're standing side by side, right? Mm -hmm. And not guilty. And she lets out this. Woo! <laughs> I went, what really? the fuck is wrong was, with you? I was in disbelief. Right? I go, well, what's wrong with you? And she just put her hands down and said, I don't know. I just, you know, I don't think he's guilty. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, P, you go to the next. <laughs> I just left. You go to the yuck Do you go to bed? Uh, well, I, I, you would have to leave, yeah. I just left. I'm like, Okay. I have to say, O.J. Simpson ruined my birthday one year um, because of some of his antics. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. All of America was like, yeah. What happened? What? He ruined my birthday. I'm sorry. Bitch. Crime sleep and ruined my birthday. Why would he do that? Exactly. <clears throat> Why would he do that? Um, because oh, then rapper comes in with his absolute. Oh, no. I, yeah, you know. rapper, you're f fuck you, rapper. You know what? Mm -hmm. Not I've even funny. Nice it's not you. anything. Honest to God, He's I was gone. listening to nonsense before I came in here, 
And it's one thing for you to come in doing that nasty shit. You're, I mean, congratulations for having the, even the shit bags on YouTube have no use for you. Okay. So, mm -hmm. and it's hard to get this, this dump to uh, rally around any cause, but I have yet to find the person who says, oh yeah, rapper's great. Yeah, I have no, seen people say he's great or she, I have. You have? And I'm like, what? Well, they yeah. Got, they got problems. <laughs> they, they yes, we did. Well, it's not true. Yeah. But what we he did, it. I've always like been kind to rapper. Hey, Blink. What Blink. rapper did. Rain. In Nonsense is Live, the same bullshit rapper. Yeah. Get your meds dialed in. Voices was actually just talking about this. Hit her up. Oh, my she God. My she is over you. there giving. Grime Goofin is over there giving a fucking dissertation on why she struck me and how she struck me. Oh, nobody cares. Nobody cares because she's, I mean, just insert name. Like, take your name out, insert. She's struck everybody. That's why. Yes, but she's knocked everybody. She's not knocked everybody off the air for 10 days, Lisa. I'm off the we'll air. Give her for a 10 minute. Days. She'll try. Well, you now, know, when I you talk about people that don't have a life, this one does I not. Care. They they have a good sound. Oh, I was gonna say rapper, knock yourself out. Oh, God. Do you talk? Like, you it says way more about you than it does me. So right, we're like, we're do you combating use that language. Words? Yeah. Nice. Well, and and think about it. How many profiles? Because I know I have at least twenty five. That when you're not have, doing this, then you're making profiles. I have one besides this one. Two total. Oh, I have a ton. I mean, and I've always been, listen, I've always been incredibly, when rapper, any other time, had I not heard what nonsense said, I've never heard nonsense get that emotional about anything. And mm -hmm, for rapper right. to come in and do what rapper did in something so serious as um, Amethyst. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's just gross. Like, come, I don't want to hear it, rapper. I don't want to hear ugh. like I've a, but mm -hmm. this is not the first time rapper has come in here and apparently everywhere else. And yeah, done this. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I've always been really, to touch it. I've always been really kind. Like mm. when rapper will come in and say, <clears throat> Hi everyone, how are you? Hi yeah. rapper, how you doing? I'm glad you're having a good day today. And mm -hmm. then we get this, but like I heard. That I think tonight. he's a paid troll. I think he gets paid for what? He did this over in Dietz's earlier today. Too. I don't know. I think well, she rapper, pays people to do that. Congratulations, because this is all you're known for. So I hope it's mm -hmm. fulfilling. Exactly. No, I've actually been in chats where they're like, "Oh, rapper's here. Hey, rapper." Where was it? Yeah, I don't you know, know why. That. Because I think rapper can be. Rapper can be very cordial and friendly when I I well, kind of think it it might be two different people. No, I, I uh, who just said that they might be rapper might be a paid troll. Me. Okay, well I don't know if rappers paid or not, but there's some gratification I think that comes from there must be. It. Whatever, whether it's monetary or whatever it is, I don't know. But well, it's not going to stop us from talking about what we were talking about when you came uh -uh. in and did the bullshit. Yeah, uh -uh. yeah. So that that's how, enough of that. I mean, hopefully, how does she get by with the strikes and the? I, so what she's so doing people. is she's putting a bullying and harassment on there, and then she's hitting you with a copyright strike. And then as soon as you get the copyright strike lifted, it puts the, the bullying and harassment on. And Do they investigate it? No, it's automatic because of the way she put it on. She strike You strike with a bullying and harassment first. Oh, okay. And then you do a copyright takedown. So then when you, you go and you appeal the copyright and say that you're willing to go into DCMA court, like I'm willing to go to copyright court over this. There's been a lot of that going around this past week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then, a lot of what? You have to go DCMA. and pay. 
DCMA. Uh, right, like but that copyright court, you first have to get your shit copyrighted. Right, it's and not stuff free. Isn't copywritten. Yeah, it's not free. So she'll yeah, have, you to have to go file and get... with the patent and the yeah the office Copy of the patent. Office. Oh, so you mean you're right putting part. the putting the letters T M next to no, it? No, 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 no. It doesn't help. It no, doesn't? you have to go through the USPTO Damn. and do it. Let me erase that right off my name. <laughs> and she's USPTO. not copywritten. And she's not copywritten. And then she said on Dietz's panel when they ran her off was that she, isn't that what you do? You save up all the strikes and then you deliver them. And the way she's done this is every, every 24 hours I've been hit with a strike since she struck me. Oh my God. I did hear that. <laughs> Hello, PJ. Oof. I don't yeah, know. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at, uh, I need to do something on my, on my end here. I'm, so keep talking. I'm, <clears throat> Are you? I wouldn't time this person out. I would block them. I did. Hey, Willow. Hello, Willow. Willow. Hi, Willow. Well, that was enthusiastic. Yeah, it was. I, it's because I'm trying to. Hi, Willow. Hi, Willow. How are you? It's because I'm trying. You to don't do have to be sexy about it. I, Just say I, hi. I, no, I keep telling Willow. <laughs> I, every time he goes live, I harass him and I leave a comment and I say, I'm going to keep harassing you. So you do a there's a fake nonsense? Where? Yes, there's a fake nonsense. I was in here before. I've already. Oh, that's mm -hmm. right. That was. Okay, right. I was going to do what Crazy Nurse did. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, this, it's funny because this place reminds me, it's so much like, it's like politics for the not so smart, um, not, some are, some are, there, there's, there are some for sure. Um, who did I hear? Oh, it was JP. I, I heard her. Her husband must think along the lines that mine does because they both seem to refer to this neighborhood as uh, my husband calls it the asshole of YouTube. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. in there. No, oh, there's worse, <laughs> way worse. There is. I thought there was only one. Oh. I thought there was only one basement, like maybe a uh -oh. subterranean basement to ours. Nope. <laughs> No, what's it called? I S P or what? something? Oh yeah. I I probably I S P. Are you talking about your internet security protocol? What the hell's that? That's a neighborhood. Okay. Internet service Those are the techies. No. Fuck around. That's how they well, find know. you. Is your I S P Boyd? Well, there's Boyd, and then there's the one that I know Boyd. is like below Boyd. Boyd's <laughs> basement. What? Yeah, hey, uh, I don't know what it's called. I thought it was I, uh, IPS or IPF or Oh, something. the I, 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 It's right there, right? There, right? I, I, <laughs> I'm going to come across hey, and take you out. It's IP2. If you like IPA. You say IPA one more time. IPA? I said hmm. IPA, IPO. Oh, I forgot I can't do anything. What do you... What do you need to do? Smack you. See right there. IP2. What that the is where that? you need to go if you want to see the real asshole. Of, uh, no. Well, it gets worse. No. I'm already oh, surprised God. by this one. There's like nothing. All holds barred. Or no holds barred. Not all holds barred. Right. No holds barred. I, listen, I'm already horrified by what I see here. You think uh -huh. I want to go lower? <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine. I mean, I well, think um what ski mask Andy. Yeah. Um no, like I, uh uh no on I the streets him, without money for another five years. Listen, I heard him go. I think it was to Molly. It was foul. Right. To Molly? I was like, uh, he's on the no fly list. I don't have many. He is definitely on the no-fly list. And that's what I'm saying. So, no, this isn't the... Okay. So it's, worse, it's worse than that? Oh, yeah. 
ask Willow. Willow's the one that used to tell me about it. <laughs> like, you're, there's no no holds barred. I mean, nobody I'm holds anything against you. I don't know anybody. I, I was thinking who is from there. I, yeah, I've seen I, them show up on I, Savages I mean, before. Boyd is the only thing I've ever heard that's we might consider ourselves superior. <laughs> was that a while ago, Willow, when, when he did that? And Molly did it too about Michelle's child, and it was awful. That her child that she oh, lost it was terrible. Oh, you know what? I. Yes, and I think it was kind of around that same time that um, he, wait a minute. Beer Can Island. You know what? Maybe that, hey, Beer Can. It's been a while. It's been a minute. Yeah. I'm not sure um, that's who it is. I think. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll have to see another comment to know to make. Uh, more definitive. No, I can't think of. Um, I, okay, I'm thinking that what I thought was him. No, wait a minute. I know he went off on Molly, and I think well, Molly I, I went up on I, his panel and threw her big tits on his counter. Yes, and but I, yeah. <laughs> but I think I remember that's classy. Him also, speaking mm -hmm. about her child, because I remember I was like. This dude's a fucking creature. I, I mean, so I. So JLR's ex wife went into that community, and the guy's name is not Ski Mask Andy, but it's something Andy. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was him. And I she. I remember. Is it Portland Andy? You remember that? No. Is it Portland Andy? No, no, it's like something, something, Andy. It's like, it sounds like ski mask, but it's. Anyway, she went and stayed in his trailer for a night. I have a video of her. It's really crazy. Wow. But, um, I mean, yeah, I have, so that's where she ended up. i recording it tonight. Molly whipped her cha chas out. Oh. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Sits in a bathroom. The the ski mask dude? Oh yeah, no, I'm scared of that. <laughs> I thought I thought he got and putting stuff in a million different places. Let me see. Jesus Christ, she's remember... fucking talking about me. I'm getting oh, text messages Andrea's... about her talking about me on this panel here. Okay. Well, let me tell you something. Then that tells me she's dedicated because I am one of the most irrelevant people on here. So if she found you on my channel, she's she's got dedication because I have never. Oh, my God. Listen, rapper, we got to talk about some of these screen names. I shove hot dog in my <laughs> mouth. Like, is that a is that? a new dish at the Chinese restaurant up the street. Like I, I don't, that is, mm, that's weak. You, you gotta. Gotta work on that. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Yeah. Not impressed. Wah, 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 wah. Exactly. Gotta work on that. Okay. I, and that, that ski mask Andy thing. Creepy. Women like. Women seem to well i mean most of the community's women but oh which reminds me no i'm not gonna do that never mind <laughs> i was gonna i was gonna do a like uh, i was gonna do a fast pivot which would have been a like a huge right. turn on the interstate because i just saw a starbucks back there that i need to go get a venti skinny vanilla soy latte hot with Yes, wait for it. I they they're always puzzled when I give the order and then they read it back to me. Because I'll say, I would like a venti skinny vanilla soy latte hot with extra whipped cream. 
<laughs> like, bitch, you want. I didn't mean to do that. And your soy, no dairy. Yeah, I like whipped cream. Shoot me. Lisa wears too much makeup. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, if you would like to see Lisa Sans makeup, I have appeared a few times. Sans mm -hmm. makeup. That's French for without. <laughs> Mr. Crimes and Fashion has entered the kitchen. He's uh, so sweet. He's uh -oh. trying to be quiet. So is can you get into the kitchen yet? Oh yeah, yeah. Kitchen's oh, good. Oh, okay. Kitchen's okay. good. I was even standing on my dining room table trying to dust some of the crystal things. Right. Oh, I got about four in and said, fuck this. There. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, that's dust, a lot of work. Dust free is overrated. Actually, my sister-in-law gave me the best tip. She said, get an old sock. Uh huh. Put it on your hand and yeah. uh, like hot water or vinegar, and and you just kind of <laughs> like you touch the Wipe over. Yeah. And, yep. I said, yeah, I'm gonna be the one. That's why I paid somebody to do that when we had our house in Virginia. Okay. Oh my God, I got several new chandeliers that I am in love with. Yes. But I still like small table lamps. I know. I do too. I. They're even on dimmers, and I'm just like, oh, I still like a table lamp. But they they do look like, I'm staring at one right now. I'm like, God, that looks so good. My husband keeps what? You're right. Lisa cannot dance. That is that is a true statement. I, I'm not as bad as Elaine from Seinfeld, but I'm close. <laughs> I'm kind of like Elaine from Seinfeld if the Tin Man just, uh. you know, hit her with a Hit her with a couple of shots of oil. Yeah. All those. Speaking of shots of <laughs> oil, I think I'm oh, I'm almost done with this this champagne. That was not what I thought it was. <laughs> I'm like, damn, look at that. They Are you gonna have a headache color. tomorrow? Um damn, he is dedicated. Yes. Yes, yes, very dedicated. Very. And I just keep blasting him, one right after the other. I am sorry. Keep your, it's keep your, because keep your, keep your trigger finger. No, it's not. No, it's not. This this is because um that that person got a lot of attention earlier. So that's mm -hmm. it's not be it's not because of you. Mm-mm. I'm just trying to be careful not to you know, block somebody <laughs> that's friendly. <laughs> friendly fire. I, friendly fire. I'm trying to re, uh, you know, avoid. Oh God! And fire. stop sending me those damn end of the world. I try and not watch the damn news. Except first thing in the morning, maybe. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's weird. Ever since my house has been in turmoil. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, the damn, world maybe has. I, maybe I should start watching the mainstream media and really like give myself something to worry about. Yeah, I mean, you know, since your house has been in turmoil, so has the world. So there's that. There you go. Oh, that reminds me. What did I watch? I've seen. I've watched a couple things that are pretty good. Um, Ripley. Have you guys seen Ripley on Netflix? I need to. I. I that's in my list. It's good. All right. The first two are a little, they're a bit of a slog to get through, uh -huh. but stick with it because good things come to those who wait. Uh, uh, three, oh. three through eight are really good. Okay. Two and you said this is on Netflix? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Or if you're like me and you have torrent TV. I've even had to leave the United States to get TV shows now because <laughs> I've just seen them all. Um, all right, so Ripley was fantastic. Oh, I started watching it. Then. <laughs> oh, did you? Okay. Hey, yeah, Ellen. I started it. Hi, Montana Jane. Runs with scissors. Patty, hello. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a slog getting through one and two, but by the time you get to three, it really hits its stride and it takes okay. off. 
Okay. I really do feel like Hugh Hefner. And you I feel like <laughs> you have him? Yeah, because I'm wearing silk pajamas with um, high heels. <laughs> yeah, she's good. Aw. Yeah. Um, he's a bunny at the mansion. It's my superpower. Uh -huh. um, she's a bunny at the mansion. You know what? Mansion. Somebody left me a comment. Well, that's nice. How funny is this? They said, oh, my God, what mic do you use? It sounds so good. <laughs> I'm like, my God, how... <laughs> How the tide has turned because uh -huh. I held out for about two years. Uh, yeah, we're not going there. Did you get in trouble? About your mouse? Oh, the echo. Oh, the mouse is fine. It's not fully charged, but we're good. It's, oh, geez. it's probably got another week. Oh, it was so a slime you go through? ahead of time. Okay. Never mind. What happened? I said, let's what? not charge it ahead of time. Hey, Montana. Yeah. What else what? did I tell you we were going to talk about that we were going to touch on tonight besides the one we have been touching on? There was someone else you were ranting about yeah. the other day. There was. Hold on. Let me check my text message. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I YouTube of late. I, yes. I just wait for the update from anyone who reaches out and touches me god i was on my i was on the phone with my mom for so long and she just I, you're a good me. water because i would never stay on the phone with my mom that long oh my god she drained me all right hold on there was something i said that we were going to talk about all right let's see all right Oh, one night we are absolutely doing this. Oh, oh shit. The one I would well, like to do it about, the one we're talking about. Yeah. She'll strike a bitch. But that's okay. I don't, I can do it without, I can do it without the, um, the video. Okay, so picture someone gave her the nickname. They said she was a something Teletubby. <coughs> Now, just being one who, I, well, you know, some people think I know what I'm talking about when it comes to fashion. Yes. Uh, just a friendly piece of advice. If you are um, shorter of stature, which I am, I'm actually probably the shortest one in this place. Mm -hmm. Betty, Betty, I know you used to claim that title, but girl, I'm at least two inches shorter than you. It so, um, and this, this chick is <clears throat> two inches, two or, well, she might be the height of Betty. I don't know. Um, anyway, if you do not have a discernible way hey, accentuating what is not there with a piece of, um, what looks like a ski rope. What? What? May not be with. See, I can't play it. That's what sucks. Um, well, if if you were rather short and rotund, uh -huh. um, you know, tying a piece of ski rope around your waist or okay, what would I'm fixing it. I'm so confused. Lisa, that was a cover up. That was a. I swear to a... God, I was just getting ready to say. That was a caftan cover-up. I don't yeah. understand. Now, now, me slimy over here from Slimy Stories. Now, I found that when I went down to the Piggly Wiggly to get my Slimy Story uh, poster that's behind me. What's Say that again. We don't have Piggly Wiggly in my neck of the Hi, Don King. Hey. So... Um, oh, okay. my buddy grime goofing and i sent that to her that's one of them curl up and die specials <laughs> that was 9.95 down at linda's curl up and die salon and mm -hmm. i sent that to all my friendly youtubers pride died and laid to the side mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what my hairdresser said when i showed her betty's hair i said what Give me your professional opinion. <laughs> oh, it started that was looking it. better, though. That was it. That's what we were going to talk about. Oh, Betty's that was it. Her, Betty's on her way to Tennessee. Yes. 
I hope she makes it to. Uh, but I mean, Illinois. what happened? Did she get there? Mm -mm, not yet. Because they're going to give her a swift kick in her ass. I'm telling you. Who, oh who yeah. Is well, uh, she's going to the. She's going to protest at the RV park or whatever. Uh -huh. What? Wait a minute. That's in Mississippi. Well, they're not even there right now. This and you are not going to tell her any different. Yeah, uh -uh. Who's at an RV they're park? They're not there. Oh, they're no, not there anymore? Well, well, uh, JLR will find them. JLR's headed to Oklahoma for the missing moms that they just found blood in their car. Mm. And so... Chronicles, you like that? Okay. Pond is a bit of an archaic word, but I like it. Um... You know what? So I, they must have told him to get the fuck out. Who? Oh, okay. Wait. Somebody's got to fill me in. Who are the missing? Two missing moms. Here? Okay, I saw. Um, allegedly innocent, formerly Jules of Thought. Mm, that's I what always, I wanted I to love talk Jules. about. I love Jules, and I. Sidebar. Lost her mind. Today? Did you see her today? Did you see the beginning of her no. stream? No, no, I just saw that she was live guys, before I came in here. He talked about, she talked about, because that was when the <laughs> law enforcement had just left. I had just gotten home here to where I live. I just logged in to listen to her take on the two missing moms. And I typed in chat because she was talking about goofing and what transpired that day. And that's when I said, she false struck me and then used the address to call law enforcement on me. Were they Jules, not friendly? No, they're friendly. They were, were. But Jules backed out at the last minute. I did hear you say that. Yes. And she tapped out. Yes, she backed out because she she thought that she was crime goofing was yes, gonna pull she said, up I don't like fast surprises, one. right? Is it wasn't that what yep. she said? And she thought she was going to get a pro. Uh, she was thought she was going to get caught up in something. So five minutes before the show, she called her and said, She's "No." Smart. She listened to her gut instinct because it said surprise guest, and she does not like surprises. Yeah. Oh, she was going to be on Goofin's panel. Yes. That's what? what because originally it was supposed to be allegedly innocent. And Goofin talking about the benefits of the Cajun Navy and the change in JLR. But what oh did Oh my God, stop it. Stop it. No, seriously, stop. go listen stop to it. this morning. Stop it. My head's oh, exploding. No, it, look at it. Baby, listen. There it goes. Seriously, listen to this morning. Jules explained it. Yes, she that was what explain. it was originally supposed to be. Okay. And I, I can't take the psychiatrist. To to I tried to explain to her and she called me a virtue signaler and told me to get out of her chat that day. Oh, the day that she was going on about how great he is? Yes. I got called a virtue signaler and told to leave her chat. But I know so that what? she is very anti um, another person who. Yeah, well, she's not. What she said that day on her stream, I could not. It's inaccurate. It's so inaccurate. And that's what I was trying to tell her. It's so inaccurate. She was lying. So and she's sitting there repeating. And they were chasing him through the neighborhood. And of course, you should have taken pictures, JLR. You need to uh, protect yourself. He took the pictures of their car with a license plate showing. They were not chasing him. He was stalking them. I didn't mean to yell. No, I'm, I'm you're confused. wrong. Correct on all of what you said. I think yeah, I'm wrong. I couldn't believe I, it. I'm like, I'm saying the same thing. What? Yeah, I'm lost. Back to He's such a fine man. He runs through the. I could. This part got me. Goes all <laughs> through the woods looking for missing children with that camera, and he's not running. Tell me who. Wait, what are we talking stop. about? Well. Jules of Thought was saying this about JLR. Right, uh -huh. but we were talking at first, I think we were on different pages. Yes, Jules back to Betty and her bleach hair. Common denominator, <laughs> but we were talking about Betty is on her 
Then he's on. Oh yeah, way. yeah. And it was like she's on her way to the RV park, and I said, "Who's at the RV park?" Chris is that and Proudfoot? Proudfoot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In Tennessee? yeah. No, they're in actually the the RV park was in Mississippi. Oh, I just Chris. I okay, because that's where he was working, or that's where they were staying. But JLR kept fine, and Jules was going along with it. I you know. should not stalk parents of missing children yeah, no, during no, an no, active no. investigation. I'm with especially. you. I, yeah, True. Absolutely, <clears throat> I agree. He's on there showing the waitress's name from the steakhouse. You mean and, he was having dinner somewhere, filming? Oh, I think they kicked him out of there. I think I they were kicking him out of there. Nosy, and then he got what he needed and then left. Yeah, because I'm talking to the waitress here. Let me show you. And so he scrolls down and it shows her name. And then he scrolls back up to the message. So he just gave that woman's name at the steakhouse. The last person to see Sebastian and Katie. Oh, okay. What was that? What is that place? Well, never mind. It's but Texas Roadhouse. Okay. Yeah, okay. Delicious food. What, what do you think it is that has... I listen and I some people will not like this but I'm sorry this is this is just the way I feel. This case has become very much like Summer Wells. This is yes, Summer is. Wells 2.0 and I believe it that is. it is the parents that because how many no. missing children have have gone missing since Summer Wells and Sebastian Rogers. A shit ton. A whole right. bunch. But it's, it's it's my friends, because it's, Mr. Proudfoot is um a POS. He's well, okay. A, they got it wasn't right away though. It was a month into it when JLR got there. Yes. Everybody yes. acts like, oh, he had been there the whole time. And no, he wasn't. Whoa. He was that Riley Strain. Yep. With his yep. camera, not yep. right. Then he's praising the Cajun Navy on a Saturday at Rock, whatever park. And they're all signing it, signing up to sign in to go search. Of course, he doesn't. He's just going to observe. And then something happened the next day at the bowling alley. And they told JLR, yep. you're not going to live stream the search, period. And that's when he went off and started lying about them and said, um, and that's you when all kinds the, of bullshit. Well, that's when the Facebook groups all that. exploded. But then I've that's missed a lot. I know, bitching. That's when the Facebook groups exploded. Oh, all okay. the rumors started. Then all of a sudden people, the, the, the statements about people, searchers being um, followed. Family and being it's followed. all him. And he's got yeah. that Facebook that's got 30,000. Oh, it's all him. There's a oh, no, 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 ma'am. I can take a part. No, ma'am. It's a coordinated effort. Nope. It's I can take a part. Everything. I'm um, telling you. He is you know all what? over Let the place. Let me tell you this. As someone who knows enough about his background, I find myself being... I know. Here's how here's how he's very very smart. When well, when I just listened to him the other day, I saw he was live, and I said, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna." I didn't go in the chat, but I was just listening in the bushes, and I listened for probably mm, five eight minutes, and I walked away from those five or eight minutes saying, "You know what? I get it. He's." He's got a very calm demeanor. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you don't know anything about him and you're just some nice little lady looking for yep. somebody who's talking about the case, you yeah. can very easily be drawn in. Yes, and yes, that's his whole, hello, come on in, everybody. Uh, yes, yes. Thing is like a fucking three-year-old. I know about him, and I get drawn in. So Like a weirdo fucking Mr. Rogers. I am, if I could make the parody, I would. Mr. Rogers, and he plays him. I, a psychotic I mean, Mr. Rogers. She, 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 <laughs> she did a great oh my job God. in JLR. Do what? JP did a great JLR. 
Oh my God! Yes, she did with her sleazy. She did. did. I Can we made my it? husband watch it. I'm. I, said, I didn't first see it. I showed him JLR, and then I said, "And here's here's the girl I've JP I've done the parodies with," and he's like, "Yeah, she's good." I didn't see that one. Oh well, you need to go look at it because you, you will, play it. will enjoy it. She's. Oh yeah, I guess I could. Gee. Yeah, I can see where he fools people. That's why I'm so vocal. That's why when Jules, what, so what happened Absolutely. today with um, Jules? Oh, she still, I don't know about today. I just know that. I'm so hoping she'll oh, snap she out of it. Oh, so grateful. Well, about the grime goofing, uh, the grime, grime goofing stuff. She's How like, are bangs? I'm, that way everybody knows. Okay, uh, bangs. She was just grateful that she like dodged the bullet and has cut ties and wants nothing to do with crazy. And then she started learning about the financial exploitation, the the thousand dollar pledge to uh, decipher, and then the money for Kara Northington, and started down that line and realized. This woman is super problematic because the last nine or ten cases <laughs> that were high profile, she's gotten herself involved in. Yeah, and so has she. Oh, I, That's what I don't get. How she can say? I don't either. He's <laughs> redeemed himself. JP has the most beautiful eyes. Ah, uh, she's very pretty. She has beautiful blue eyes. I'm I'm staring at them right now as I find the the JLR parody. <laughs> Well, Andres, you can enjoy him. What do you enjoy about what he's doing to the family? Telling everybody where they are, giving him the name to a waitress who's just trying to earn a living at the roadhouse, and he puts her well, name out there to crazy people. But see, people who don't like, I didn't see, but I don't watch him. Um, well, then you can't. You wouldn't have picked it yeah, up. No, You're you know. Right. And then I found out the glasses that they found that oh, supposedly go. belonged to Sebastian were under their van. Shit. Tell me that. I'm not saying he did it, but tell uh, me that's, that's not a plan. Karen, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm hold holding, up. Hold up. Holding, Karen talked about that. Karen, Karen. Karen talked about that. The search lady. Uh, the one whose son, oh, yeah. Jaden. That, that whole thing. The glasses. Okay, hold on. Heels. We're talking I'm about sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm I mean, you're going. You're I'm getting really away. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. Karen. Karen's son was he not the one that yeah. had the crazy yes. nutbag yes. about repent? Yes. That was, yes. Okay. I'm not saying anything anymore. Karen said something on Queens the other day when she came up to clarify about the glasses that Seth did not find them. And I didn't say where they were found, though. I think she said Jaden found them. They were, okay, I, it was either uh, the cop that we all watch. Um, Duty Ron? You Duty Ron. It was either Duty Ron or Police Officer Cuff. Oh, yeah, and Ed somebody. That's his. Yeah, uh, that's where I heard, because I had heard they had Ed found Ron. some. So Jaden found them. K uh, Karen's son found them. I'm almost positive that's what she said. I could be wrong. Did oh, anybody sorry. else hear yeah. what was said that day? I mean, I was up there, but when the wind blows, my internet connection is. I mean, like I live in the fucking. And was that <laughs> North not Tundra? They're not. They were not Sebastian's glasses, correct? No, they weren't. Correct. They are not glasses. But to to right. think, uh, okay, so the Jaden thing, what he did there is so gross to watch that kid get the cops called on him and for JLR to go, what happened? And, and then tomorrow that JT is doing another, some kind of rally or something. But JLR stood there and watched that whole thing and had been searching with Karen three weeks or two weeks before that. Who oh, is Jaden your son? I really like him. He's a good guy and just bragging about him. He knew him and sat there and let them call the police on him. 
Yeah, I, I don't see him being the kind of guy who's going to stand up and say, "Hold on, wait a minute." That yeah, no, I don't, I don't see that. He, I, I, that's alarm. no humanity I, to watch that kid that had been searching, and his whole thing is searching. He doesn't care about all yeah, the. He, they definitely seemed like they. That is all they care about. They they don't care about the YouTube circus. No. The YouTubers that. I, honestly, I, honest to God, I listen to, like, when I listen to normal people, like, nonsense. Maybe Hunter. She has been doing a fantastic job. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, shining the spotlight on these tragedy pimp scumbags. And honestly, I was listening to her. I was in my car today. And... These nut jobs that are driving by uh, Chris and K is Katie. Is that her yes. name? Yes. Katie Proudfoot's house. And she just played clips of one after another after. Well, you know, here we are driving by the Proudfoot's. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, so and wonder said, why they left. The other day. People wonder why they left. There was a tip that came out that said the FBI were raiding the Proudfoot's home. JLR was yes. live somewhere else. JLR called his person. His person drove right over, took a picture, sent it to him on a live stream, and he put it right up. To show that there was no one there? Or... Correct. To show that there okay, was no FBI well, at the house. Okay. Well, that I don't. Uh, that is not a bad thing. Not as far as I'm concerned. That's that's not a bad Excuse thing. Excuse me. Why does he have somebody surveilling that home? And well, why are they randomly? Yeah, that that's, is not an okay thing. That is a, that is also a, a legit question. That's I, why the grandparents. That's me. I don't get it. How do you get so fucking invested in a news story of people that you should never? You know what? I heard, this is something I heard Laura say, and it has stuck with me. And it is whatever you think of Laura. And listen, I listen to Laura all the time. I, 50% of the time, I vehemently disagree with her. But there's the other part of the time when I'm like, yeah, she's right. I heard her say, stop fucking treating these family members or these victims of crimes like they are celebrities because they're not they're private people exactly they're but this is what people in this community many of them treat them like like yes. they are celebrities it's weird it it ain't right it's weird they're they're private i saw it don they're private citizens that are thrust into the limelight during the most horrific moments yeah. of their lives. Yes. They are automatically covered by a victim's umbrella and they have a Whether right. Whether we like to them or not. And for what the record, they're, doing, they're looking for, the record, for. I think Proudfoot is an asshole, but I'm not going to come Why out. Why do you think today. that? Because you remember um, when we first started, you are thinking that because of what you're hearing. Yes, I'm thinking and that's I have what never I've heard thought from him, though. It's what, what? I've heard out of his mouth. What? I yeah. don't believe, I do not believe the father or the mother or the stepfather have anything to do with this. I, I truly believe this has something to do with that little boy being lured away on the premise of him not having friends. Because he always asked for friends. See, when I was listening to, because I was clipping, I'm listening on. I had no idea there were actually dogs actually hit on. Yes. See, but all See, the clothes. That. Yeah. That's why I kept thinking, what'd they do? Take him out from the I'm ceiling? I'm not an opinion because I don't know. I do find. But you did. You just Brown, said you can't stand him. No, I didn't say that. I said I think he's an asshole. Well, okay. Well, I but mean. that's based absolutely. on his presentation. I could be, that's just my opinion, but I'm basing my opinion on what I've heard from him. Not anything I've heard from YouTubers. He doesn't interview well. I'm going to say that. 
he doesn't interview. And I do believe he's an asshole. He has a Yeah, I was going to say, I, I don't think he, he probably in real life well. Narcissist. He is. Well, he probably is, but it's not perfect people that lose their children. No. It, unless they killed him. No, case, no, you absolutely. But what my, absolutely. But what my point is, I'll hear people. A, Carry I on. hear people right a lot now. of times say, oh, I can't stand so-and-so. Then you ask them, but this is what social media will do. You have an opinion because they gave it to you. Because you hear it enough, yes. you hear it enough, and you hear it, and you hear it. I think Nina was a complete setup. Oh, I don't, I am so not okay with that, because you just took that victim's voice, and you just turned <laughs> it into smarmy fuck shit. Yeah, and I wasn't during okay a custody battle. Out. And the moment that Pascal put that on, I was, I, I only hate watched after that. I'll be yeah, 100% I, honest. Yeah, that and the way he was so it was like getting our, all the formalities out, like, yeah, you're okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get down to it, you know, trying to get to that dirt. Like, I don't really care about all that other stuff, just give me right, give me the dirt. I just want the dirt. I want to, I want to know what your thoughts are on this. What real talk, though, real talk, but -na 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 -na. the fucking soundboard. No, and then when somebody time. tells me, well, he backhanded my three year old, and then he backhanded my whatever however old she was you know after the second time i'm side-eyeing you right not I say. yes because i'm not hearing this anymore with well i couldn't because i couldn't do this or i couldn't because i couldn't do this but now there's a missing child that you're letting everyone know could have been hurt by your ex and well in the end I you still stayed don't with him I still don't see any of this. None of this does it make nothing that they're nothing that it doesn't matter how bad they interview, how badly they speak about each other, any of that. None of that makes it points fingers when law enforcement has come out and said there it does not there, there's not foul play on the part of the parents. Yeah. We're not fighting that. Yeah, anytime I voice my opinion on this kind of stuff, I swear to God. I am not. Every situation is different. All of them. But when you have the means, which there is so much help out there. And when you're talking about you, your parents are there. You moved away, but you miss them. That means that you have a relationship with them. And so if someone is hitting your children, go to your parents' house. You know what oh, I mean? Anywhere. Like, right. But I keep, I always get this well. I couldn't, but you're different. That's I listened to her story, and she oh, went. Talking about Nina? Yeah, she went oh, and I, followed I him. To it. I, well, I think it's terrible. I but don't do it right now, and it looks so set up. Yep. Well, you know how. Listen, when people have an axe to grind, and I'm not saying that she doesn't have every right. There's a custody going battle going on. When, yes. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So, yeah, she does. And I'm telling my guess would be just knowing that a judge who is supposed yeah, the to internet. be an impartial par party is not going to look highly on either party. Right. Speaking did on you, it. Did, not did, just, did they come I, out and say anything? I don't know if they said anything back. I, I listened to her speak and I tend to believe her but that does not mean that but I'm not a judge and I'm not I'm a not judge saying I don't believe her it's the point where your second child is now being smacked in the face and you just stay and you just say well you know yeah, that, because I, heard that I didn't have help that. or I had to get a job and they were it's the whole story sounded crazy to me what what the most crazy thing, and I don't doubt it, but I tell you what, if you found a lawyer to take your case for free, yeah, I think that's she a said. gift right there because lawyer, I mean, lawyers hear horrible but, stories all the time. Right, and, and she had a horrible her. story after the good lawyer. I don't doubt her. I'm not saying I doubt her. I'm I'm not no, saying I, I doubt I, her. And I've, 
I'm not saying you do, but I'm okay. Well, that's why I'm saying that. I don't have anything to do with. I'm just disappointed. A lot of people. I guess all I'm saying is, what what offends me and bothers me is all these fucking weirdos from the internet. See what I'm yes. they're digging people yes. like yes. her up. Should be saying they should be saying I think he's an asshole based on what I've heard him say. But you know what? I don't I don't know enough to imagine being that child. What I'm if you are guess. alive and you're Sebastian and you're somewhere, somebody has you or whatever, and your fucking parents are on YouTube. Oh, it's dressed well, up with great lighting and a good microphone. And talking arguing. about okay, huh? what about if this little boy it what if this person has somebody? What if makes me sick Somebody has them, the, and all this youtube stuff is contributing what if this is giving them a window it's giving them a window into knowing what's going on what? this could further harm this. yeah that's what, what that's can, the biggest bitch police have what i can make a case for is i can see where i'm a desperate parent i can make a case and i can understand for why a parent would come to some fucking flunky stupid ass youtuber yeah I, I agree youtuber oh yeah I absolutely yeah absolutely i agree but, but when it comes to the the ones on this side of the microphone who are preying on and taking advantage of people in their worst moment and it's well, just and i mean well look, Lisa, that's where the comment came in about the um, attorney general. Yeah. Because that becomes consumer fraud. I, think that that I believe they're preying on very well, vulnerable people. Let me tell you what happened. You're exactly right. Can I tell you real quick? So Please. I clip, I clip JLR all the time. I'm always watching, and it's very interesting to me to watch the different things he does. So about Two and a half, three weeks ago, he was in New Mexico. And he was, I forget what he was standing in front of. Some sign was where he was, but he was in New Mexico. And he says, and guess what I found here? Court records. Uh, what's his first name? We just said it. The father, uh, Chris. His That's wife, Nina. Awesome. I've got her uh, divorce yeah. paper. You don't think yeah, he set that shit up? That is gross. Yeah, I, he set it up. I'm uh, sure he did. Yeah. And that's what he does. That's what's so fucking slimy. But and when people... Alone. He's not alone. No, he's no, not he's alone, but he alone. is good he's at it. But he, he has perfected it. Yeah, and he has zero back. conscience. Well, we can't say that. TLC. Oh, no, he has zero conscience. Heels you can't do shit to people, even the small, like that kid standing there. JLR knows all that kid cares about is searching. All he cares about is Sebastian. All JLR cares about with his camera pointed right in the right direction it's is hitting that. Out. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I mean, I don't, I don't think that's a leap to, to make that assessment. I would agree with that. I couldn't believe it. But but my I mean, heart would hurt for that kid. Not alone. Look at no, he's not. There's a I lot of them. I've never heard of this allegedly with Brittany J. I've oh, never heard of day. her. Until okay, so she day. comes out of the she comes out of the same pond that I came out of, the Natasha Cooper recliner person. I oh, somebody heard, else does too. I heard a montage. Who was I talking to? Of, yeah, of I don't her. even know who that is. Well, I she's no longer on the platform, too. but. She just got a. She's not. Natasha's not. No, right. she's oh, no, not her. The the other one. Oh, no, Brittany okay. is still yes. yes. Brittany is. Natasha's I had never not. heard of her until this case. Uh -oh. oh, good luck. Oh, for hell's sake! I when I heard a montage, I was just like, "What?" It, so I had all been. All of these people. Are I had jealous. been friends with her, and the friendship fell out when the stuff was said about the proud feet and the indigenous, the, the culturally inappropriate. Oh, that was horrible. That, as well as the that was, one of the clips was that her? 
yes. Oh, okay. So they had Somali's face up there. That's why I thought it was her. That is one of the clips I heard. And listen, when I when I hear something like that, to me, that was all so egregious. I don't need the context. There's no way to spin any of that to make it okay. So. No. And I went to her in private. Your text that message. Gross. Well, at first oh, I said, God. that's a Scottish name. Okay. Then they it's said bad. something really bad. Whatever yes. it is, it doesn't matter. It's no, gross. well, but they did make it worse. I forget what it was they said. And it was, I just turned it off. But the proud put thing alone, they were saying something like prideful, I think is what they said. That was their yeah. Uh, yeah. So, but what did they there was a follow-up really nasty? Oh, they were he, Chris, they they call they called him Chris Stankfoot. Stankfoot. Yeah, something very yes, something yeah. See, very that's, just hmm. disgusting. And so here's the thing. I, there's you don't do that to parents their, like that. No. And there's enough of their behavior that you can legitimately comment on. You do not need to do grimy, right, juvenile and, shit like that. And Lisa, that was exactly what I took to her. I'm so sorry, Mr. Good. Because you somebody, know what I got? It didn't Fuck matter to her what yeah. she said oh, was. What about what? What about what Deets and Granny did? Or uh, uh, I didn't say like it. every else middle said school it. kid when they get in trouble. Yeah, I that yeah. doesn't shock me that you say that. I what I, I didn't say it. Somebody else said it. I said yes, but you laughed. The boy says I laugh when I'm nervous. Uh, you laugh like a fucking hyena when you're nervous. I thought I heard her Who said that? directly commenting on it. He was. I, I could be wrong, but I was no, confused no, about no. who was up there. Again, again, these are people that I once thought. But I heard it. So it does take you all the way out of it. I I know nothing about any of them, your association with them, I, none of that. I didn't, I had never even heard of several of these people until the last few days and with this me listening more about this case. So that, trust me when I tell you, I didn't even know until right now that you knew anything or had any association with them. But I think everybody's been a member of Natasha Cooper's at one time or another. No, I haven't. I don't even I I have it. Natasha Cooper. Uh, yeah, I she haven't. was witty and. That was the whole reason that I came out here was because she outed my face. And question my gender. Strategy strike. Don't, don't come in here announcing other people's lives. It's oh, God. Well, this is a, yeah, that's rapper uh 75.0. And who cares? Uh crimes and fashion is a little bit that's just uh, a it pisses me off. Yeah. Um see when I was in allegedly innocent chat the other day. She got a new membership and it was Brittany J. And she goes, Oh, I'm honored, right? Yeah. And I was like, Oh, God. Well, again, she she's got what is that is. She got the uh, little pull over eyes on that one as well. She's willing to look at it from a different perspective. Well, and she's very sweet. And I don't think she. Um, Jules, listen, I, I don't know her, to tell you the truth. I know I she was know nice to me. Well. I know her from listening to her before I was ever a creator. And when she came in my chat a few months ago, I was fangirling. Yeah. I, I mean, I've always liked I her. Respect, I mean, she's an I don't get the JLR thing to save my life. Oh, JP, do you see yourself on the screen? How are you? Uh, okay. JP's back and she's never, uh, JP. Like that one. Heels never saw you being jail. I never. I mean, I'm so well, excited. This is a good time. So okay. here we go. Get ready. Hi. I I hope uh, JP under section 107 of the copyright act. <laughs> All right. Can you I'm make it big? Strike us. Yep, I'm gonna make it big. Jonathan Lee Riches investigates today. Oh we're at Area 51 in Nevada. Oh my God. This is Area He's got 51. the arm tights. Look. 
Oh, very vast, God, she looks very like spooky. Him. No humans can cross this fence unless you are authorized by the U.S. government. We're not going to cross the fence. We're the just going to stay on this side so I can show you Area 51. This is where they say aliens land. This is where they say they've seen flying saucers. JP, you make people laugh, and that you cannot put a price on that girl. So. I say even the haters think you're funny. They just want a minute. You can't stop it. Very creepy. Very spooky. Very uh, quiet out here in the Nevada desert. Mannerisms. I saw There's something. Lots. I've already walked this line once, and I saw something. <laughs> a Coke Zero bottle. Uh, what do you think that means? Do aliens uh, drink Coca-Cola? No. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. Just speculation. Just a question. <laughs> Could there be aliens that land right here where I'm standing and drink their Coca-Cola? <laughs> Could there be aliens and flying saucers that come down and land right here? There's nobody else out here. Mm -hmm. Nobody. For miles. This is the perfect place no for somebody armor. to come and spot a UFO. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> pretty spooky i mean do you guys believe in aliens I, I don't know if i believe in them or not but this is the air this is this is the area 51 where there have been many many ufo sightings over the years this is pretty wild it's pretty crazy i don't know are there aliens That's that come down he also and land over hat. here i know i can't see that what's written are there aliens the that thing? walk among the longer huh? you watch it, the more little things you notice. Like, well, I can't I see didn't it. Notice her hat. I didn't notice her hat until just now. Oh, what do you mean you can't see it? Well, because I'm on this stream yard fucking thing. Oh, you well, go back. When we're done, you have to go yeah, back. Yeah, I'll go back and watch it for sure. She, she's got a big <laughs> piece of paper taped on her hat. Oh. This is JLR. <laughs> <laughs> and and look at his shirt. Her shirt. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Amongst us? Do they look like human beings? No. What do they look like? We don't know. Nobody's ever seen them. But Area 51, folks, this is it. This is the ground zero for aliens. JP, did, I'm sorry. Did you see my video on this, JP? I got like 500 nasty messages on that. I never saw it. You didn't did see my do? go no, watch it. You did Put it on. It's Area 51. That he, How far back? Uh, not that far back. I don't know oh, anymore. News Nation has just posted an update that there was a, enough evidence inside and outside of the cars that the Kansas moms were shot. So I don't know about that. See, you want me to this find is it? This is terrible. Custody battle. But let me tell you the let me tell you the ripple effect of tragedy pimps. And this is <laughs> honest to God, this is coming from someone who I forgot. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about where I was at. I'm sorry. What? I shouldn't oh, no. like that's no, that, that's this all right. is no I'm just saying that, no, actually, that this is a good segue into a real world thing, just everyday woman. As someone who has followed true crime since I was in middle school, like when you had to buy books and you yep. would immediately go to the middle of the book to see the black and white pictures. If yep. you were lucky, yep. <laughs> the, the, the sad after effect of all the tragedy pimp culture, mm -hmm. I don't even pay attention to it anymore because I know what comes with it. I know the circus mm -hmm. and I, I know nothing about these can Kansas moms. What is that about? I don't have a clue. Okay, so um, a mother and a friend of hers uh, who was like the court-appointed approved uh, Asian person went, to, uh, went from Kansas to Oklahoma to pick up the 27-year-old's kids and... They didn't make it to their end destination. The car was found 
abandoned alongside the road. And it, there's been like very little searching. The news crews have been out there. There's no grid searching. There's none of this stuff happening. And the FBI and OSBI came right in. And OSBI has been really tight lipped. Well, that is a clear indicator that if they're not searching, that there must have been enough in evidence in and, and or around the car to indicate that they're not alive anymore. And there's a hog farm not that far, which keeps getting brought in as a rumor mill. Now, tell me again, what are the two women to each other? Uh, one is the mother of the children they were going to get. And the other was like the court approved visitation specialist. Oh, because God. The mom so wasn't she's, allowed. Like a, she's like a CASA worker? Not really a CASA. It's something it, like somebody that's been pre-approved by the court. Because okay. the, the normal person wasn't able to do it. So this is like a secondary. I mean, this is a total real and life situation. And they're both deceased? Both gone, missing. And like, that's their only tie to each other? Is Yep. They left together in the car and never made it to the end destination to pick up the kids. And there's a bitter custody battle going on. And of course, all of YouTube is now digging in and finding this and finding that and pulling Pacer, going on Pacer and pulling all the shit off. Visitation monitor. Thank you. That's what it's called. Visitation monitor. Okay. So in Florida, that would kind of be like, um, similar okay, to wait, well, wait, visit this one, okay, so this woman has to have supervised visits. She's not allowed okay. to be alone with her kids. So okay, this person drove so, the car, picked uh, the Like kids. if you have, well, it wouldn't even be, supervised That's, visitation. Like yes, places, supervised, yeah. Yes, there's places where you can go if you're the, the other party who's subject to the order. Like a drop-in. Right. You have to pay. Okay. Yep. So it's, okay, I got gotcha. you. Except for this is actually bad. somebody and she got in a car. She got in a car and she drove there like hours away to wow. Ava, Oklahoma. Right off the Kansas border. You know, I know I think I told you this before, voices. Um my stepdad lived in Jackson Hole forever. Yeah. And the coroner, uh Brett. Brett Blue. Yes, Brett Blue. he was my stepdad's general practitioner. <laughs> For uh, he forever. was a lot of people's general yes, practice. Yes, before that happened, Doctor Blue, Doctor Blue set my ankle when I broke it. Okay. Um, in, in a horse incident in '95. So you yeah, know what I, you know what? Always, I ask myself this all the time. Okay, so just like this case with these two women, where do social media, and more specifically, where do the tragedy pimps find these cases? Are they sitting on News sites where, like, honey, don't, don't you know how to? Do don't you know how to fire? use YouTube? Don't you know how to use YouTube? All you do no, is type in. Apparently. Oh, like, okay. So here's the thing: it's kind of a double-edged sword. If I tell you, it's going to a little bit be a how-to for them. But there's a way to but check. You no, know I won't do it. So uh, no, but I'm worried about the people watching. Mm -hmm. Um, I, there's the a way to check what's trending, okay. right? And then there's a lot of people in. I've always in, wondered. The community, there's Reddits, there's Facebook groups. Nancy YouTube, Grace. Yeah, I don't trending, do any Nancy that's Grace, that's all of those things. Know. Okay. And it goes from, I mean, it's it's whatever is trending. You got Google, you can set true okay. crime alerts. I mean, there's any number of ways, but a lot okay. of people immediately watch like News Nation, WJHL, because those are some of the first <laughs> Brian Enton Twitter. Um, and a lot of it starts though is on Reddit and Facebook. Don't do that. Okay. Because, I mean, the only, the first and only time I've ever looked on Reddit was Chris Watts' case. Um, no, and Reddit, I, was not, hmm. I was not yet. I, didn't I even hate that case. Know. I've been to I the Watts' case. I had to house. ask my husband, what the hell is Reddit? And he's like, well, there are these, you know, forums. And I'm like, what, what the hell's a forum? Because I don't do. Like, this is it. I... I don't do all the other shit, but I, I, that's me neither. True, JP. True thing. I've always said to myself, where the hell do these people find? Like, how does everybody latch on? To there this was person? one called, what was, what was the name of the one that did the really deep dives? And <clears throat> I think they got taken down. Kiwi farms. Yes. Kiwi farms. Oh, oh God. Wasn't Thank that you, like kind of a dark web thing? Mm -hmm. 
Well, yeah, I've, been to, I've been to the Watts house. <clears throat> I can't stand that case. I hate the name. I hate everything about the case. I know. I, know, I do too. What? Yeah, yeah well, Watts. Been, he said he did it. So, I did. Why are we still talking about it? I know. Uh, I, got, I got to say on this one, I've never done any content on it. I was strictly consuming YouTube content. I have to say on this one. That's I where I met. <laughs> that's no. where I met Molly and Critical K. It went on to, watch her. to the I point to where they're her. making fun of the mother. Yeah, that's gross. No, no, it no. Was no. Her. I, Awful. You know, it's funny because I, <laughs> I've had more than one person accuse me of dragging Betty on behalf of Queen Bee. And, <laughs> and I have said, yes, and I have, I maintain what I've always said, which is the truth. Why would you, I, why would you do that on behalf of Queen? You can do your, you can do your own thing. Because I'm a shadow channel. Betty has a I, said, oh, yeah. I dragged Betty before I ever heard the name Queen Bee. Yeah, and me I too. I tell you that I used to watch Critical K. She was like, I watched her name and then yeah. watching YouTube. I had no <laughs> clue when I heard Queen Bee was a mod for her. The first thing I said to Queen Bee was, Oh my God! Who was that guy that used to call in all the time? She she always said he was her boyfriend, kind of. He was Spanish. The pop, uh, oh, yes, Lewis. songs or Lewis, something. Yes, yes. He has the channel, Lisa. He has he the does? channel. He, yeah, he has a channel. He goes live oh, from shit, time to time. No, that that tells you. Look, look that tells you. And how so does Rabbit. Okay, Rabbit so dog. Rabbit, the Scottish guy. I remember Rabbit dog. I remember him, but I, that was truly my dipping my foot in the pool of YouTube strictly as a consumer. I found her because it must have come up in the algorithm and Natasha Cooper as well. And I liked them both very much because I thought they were both very bright. And <laughs> did I, you hear yeah. about Coops? You hear what happened? Yeah. Coops, got, Coops hit 10K uh -huh. on TikTok. Coops got on Entertainment Tonight. Coops got on TMZ. Over and Coops what? has now the Gypsy Rose case. And Coops now has a lifetime movie deal over the Gypsy Rose case. I give up. I give up. I know. Are you talking about no. Natasha Cooper? Yes, the bitch that questioned my gender oh, and my put a half pixelated image of me out here. Well, boy, the whole reason that I've been out here taking her down for fucking years. Better, I had somebody do the same thing for me. So what? Yes. I didn't hear what you said. All I heard was I had the same thing did to oh. me. Voice it what voices. I, I don't know your story, so play it again, Sam. <laughs> she got a half pixelated image of me after I'd had some dental surgery and my mouth was all swelled up and I had just taken my French braids out. So my hair was all wild and curly and she questioned my gender and came live and said, voices, voice for the voiceless. Can you tell us if you're a man or a woman? Oh yeah. That would piss me off. Are you kidding about the lifetime? No, I'm dead serious. Robbie, save Robbie. Her, just wow. Her own like whole special. Because I don't of understand her, how because of the Gypsy Rose case. I don't watch yeah. Lifetime. I mean, how you much can they do on Gypsy Rose already? Uh, oh. Dude, she just had a nose job. She's getting to Oh, well, good news. Yeah, this place is a... nuts. This whole place yep. is nuts. Yep. I know that's why it's so fascinating. Listen, all of us come from a generation, whatever part of that continuum you're on of a time when shit like this only appeared within the confines of your monitor. You didn't get to talk to it. It was mm -hmm. called Jerry Springer, Jenny Jones, mm -hmm. Ricky Lake. This is the interactive version. Maury Povich. Maury Povich. Rivera, and Phil Donahue. Donahue. Did the serious media on oh, yes. Dateline yes, or whatever she was. Oprah kind of tried her best to stay. Sally Jesse. Yeah, yes. Sally Jesse Raphael. 
Geraldo Rivera. Yep. Yep. Hey, Phil Donahue. Morgan Phil Donahue. How about Phil yeah. Donahue, the, the granddaddy of the mom? Yeah, I just, you just said him. I used to watch his. I did you too. guys hear about Morgan Wallen? He threw no, a chair. What? Off, he threw a chair off the six-story bil building in Nashville right after Jelly Roll won Entertainer of the Year, and it landed two foot from a cop, oh, and he God. got charged with felony assault. I did see that on the on the. He needs to stop yeah. drinking. He needs to get his shit under control. He was down at yeah. Jason Alvin's new bar. <laughs> Right down the street from the one Riley Strand, Blake Shelton's, or Justin Moore, whatever. Who was the hell that one that Riley Strand was at? Didn't right um, I just saw this afternoon huh. as I was flipping through the the ten billion uh, TV shows? Mm -hmm. uh, Jenny Jones, Garth Brooks, and Trisha Yearwood. Yep, have a series about opening up their bar. I don't remember. Yep. Oh, Friends in Low Places. It's called. Yep. Quite ironically. Oh God, I thought you were going to tell me they're getting a divorce. No, no I didn't even know they're married. Got, no, and she just got Humanitarian of the Year. Oh God, there, I watched. Um, awesome. She's got the June Carter Cash Humanitarian of the Year Award. Does anybody watch your mom's house? I used to have a Lhasa. That's a Shih Tzu. Oh, well, I had a Lhasa that looks That's a lot like a Shih Tzu. Isn't that precious? Eric Church's bargain, Bar and Grill. Well, I bet, I wonder if Morgan's is going to now. Hi. That's Mason. That's Hi, Mason. Mason. That's oh, I've always heard Mason's name. I've just never seen Mason. That's Mason. <laughs> Hi, Mason. He comes Bob's over down. and he Bob's down spit. here whining. He he looks like a celebrity. Look at him. He's like, really? Just put me down. This is I'm so Look, over he's got a little, he's got one fans. little alfalfa sprout. <laughs> he's always mm -hmm. had that. Mm -hmm. He's always had that. It doesn't matter which way you Aww. that is just so <laughs> cute. <laughs> he is sweet. Well, Mason, he's not ready it's to... nice to finally meet you. He's I've about to get his uh Aw. About to get his winter shave on. He's about Aww. to get his winter shave. Oh my, my god, look at that. My big look fat Wolfie just got a lion cut, and I swear <laughs> to God, he looks like Simba wearing <laughs> frilly socks. <laughs> uh, that face. Oh my god. Isn't he sweet? I know that face is just too much. I look at it. Crazy nurse, <laughs> did I send you a picture of Wooby? Yes, Wooby is so lion handsome. Cut? He is the Lion King. He, I swear to God, the cat, he is, if I was a cat, I would be him. He sits on his poof like this. He crosses his front legs. and he mm -hmm. He's very bougie. He's very bougie. He is bougie. I have taught him well. Isn't it crazy how well they, they take after us? I mean, Mason looks like mm -hmm. me. He looks like a ragamuffin. He's so sweet. Mm -hmm. We I just roll God, off I had the a together. He looks just like him. He was a hand-me-down dog. His family was moving to Idaho and they put him on Facebook and I said, well, he can come live at my house. Sad. I like, I can't. I want a purse this. dog. I have a huge Labrador. I want a purse dog. I had one of those. He lived to be 21. Exactly. Bob, there's good news. I swear to God, Bob is going to be 13 in June, and he can run faster than me. That is for damn sure. <laughs> My tiny Tucker was active up until his little heart gave out on the day that we moved out after the flood. What kind of dog was he? Like, he was a, <laughs> a deer-headed chihuahua. A what? He was uh, which one? A, the deer-headed deer chihuahua. Head, yeah. What the hell's that? Well, the apple heads, deer heads. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Really? I didn't mm -hmm. know. The deer heads, they have a little bit longer of a snout. And, and they have little... antlers, Lisa, like little antlers on the top. Oh, yeah, oh, they do. So yeah. <laughs> and so. the cute little tail, you know, that goes running through the forest. Oh, my God. I love that. I almost put up an antler <laughs> chandelier in my bedroom. Oh, my God. I so want one. My husband no was idea. like, do you really want that? I said, I think I do. <laughs> oh, like, my well, God, they're so pretty. 
that, my, listen, it doesn't really, I'm a very, um, I like a touch of the whimsical here and there. And I don't know. I, I just real. there was something about my house is the furthest thing from antler that you can imagine, but that's what I liked about it. So I got a soft spot. I didn't do it, but I got a soft spot for an antler chandelier. <laughs> Mm. Listen, well, you know, if you, I didn't I, want to do I, that, I I've got a for that, just so you know. Just oh, if you're, oh, it's if like you're a real about antler it. chandelier. Um, yeah, yeah, because that's like we're getting ready to go in and start bed. hunting sheds, honey. We're oh. getting ready to go in and be able to go start hunting sheds. Oh, I think I, the one I was looking at was plastic from Wayfair. <laughs> oh, no, no, baby, we're talking. If you're gonna do it, I'm gonna yeah, get you right. to. I'm okay. gonna get you so that you're having either elk or. I mean, normally, like, I got a sister-in-law whose Christmas tree, that's what she has, and it's a six-foot-high Christmas tree. They've collected the antlers in the backcountry, and and from their what they harvest, and all the antlers lay together, and it forms a six-foot-tall Christmas tree. Oh, my God. That's creepy. Listen, no, it's my... beautiful. Oh, my God. Is it... It's beautiful. This... And then they still the... hang ornaments from it. The only time I was ever allowed to go deer hunting was once with my ex-father-in-law and I was told promptly to get my ass back to the truck that I was <laughs> not invited back because I couldn't be quiet. Yeah, you oh, have to well, be yeah, I, the problem when you're hunting. <laughs> I got my first moose when I was 15. Yeah. Uh, I killed my first moose when I was 15. Oh, wow. Now, my stepdad from that uh, lived in Jackson Hole told me that the moose is probably one of the most dangerous animals because it's huge and its brain is the size of a walnut. Exactly. Yes. That is exactly why they're Sounds the like a lot of people around here. Yeah, Although it's the just buffalo. a lie. Exactly. exactly. Although he, the buffalo. His backyard was basically the Grand Tetons. And he said he never even took the garbage out without a judge on the left and bear exactly. spray on the right. <laughs> Ducking fog. Wow. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That does look pretty scary. I mean, I'm saying I'm scared of that. I don't care how big it's brain. That looks like my husband's ex-wife. <laughs> what? Oh, I wasn't even watching. Oh, my God. No heels here. Oh, <laughs> you better hope she doesn't have an attitude problem and some bear spray, or you are in trouble. I was kind of thinking it looked a little similar to Grime Goofing. Oh God, she. Ugh. I don't even you know. What? With that girl. She looked exactly like what I pictured. I've never seen her until that live stream that you were on Laura's panel, and Laura played the news clip. Um. I cannot say that I'm the least bit surprised. And all I need to tell her is, girl, your eyebrows are supposed to have an arch. See these? Like, think McDonald's. Not, <laughs> not South Park. Oh, my no. God, Lisa. Listen, what? Lisa, Lisa, listen. So those pictures I put on my video yesterday, so I'm looking, because I found a bunch of them. You got a camera. All file. Do what? I have I a camera. Really got it. What? What happened? Crazy nurse had her camera on. Oh. Oh, um, I didn't see it. She's been on camera before. I didn't, I, I didn't even see it. So I'm looking through and I found when my daughter, I think she was just turned two or three. Anyway, I had these earrings on. I and every time, and it's a great picture, but every time I look at it, my mom's got it right in her, um, when you walk in her house. Where? Yeah. And she, and I'm like, if I could do one, go back in life and do one thing, I would get rid of those. <laughs> and I kept thinking about that you. Funny, Lisa's you gonna see these earrings and go, what you would you think? Me those of? earrings, and I didn't like. I didn't. Oh, they're they were horrible. I was like, I didn't what? Think they were that bad, and that was what. You're your horrible. Text, that's what your text said, and I was. I was like, oh, did I, I send you that? I got I lost again. On how sweet your daughter looked. I'm, oh God! Oh, think, that's right. That's right. Earrings are that bad. <laughs> that might look like at them. It was like a glamour shot, kind of. Well, it I was that Olsen or whatever you go for the kids. 
Oh, yes. Uh, what the hell was that called? Olsen. Like you go to uh, Sears or Sisters? No. Owen Mills. Oh, Owen Mills. Owen Mills. Mills. <laughs> Owen Mills. Yes. yes, yes. Hey, I have a copy of that picture if you want to see it. What picture? <laughs> the one that <laughs> the one that you were just talking about that you had never seen before. Uh, me? Lisa. Oh god. What, Lisa's that? like, uh huh. What? I've... She's already <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> so oh, we talked about the do you have well, something yeah, black no, on you? No, it's not a picture of me. So if nobody else <laughs> cares, show it. <laughs> oh, well, oh my no, god! That. I'll, I'll I'll email it to you. I need more. I need more hints. I'm afraid if I if I show it to, if I show it, it'll get struck. Oh, oh! I know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you're talking. It will. And this yeah. bitch is going to get so struck by somebody. He, yeah, like she keeps that up. Yeah, th you know, there should be some honor among thieves, even though most of them Yeah, are that's dirty. just dirty. Yeah. I and I've heard a lot of people saying that, like people who were here long before us. Yeah, it's well, just dirty. Boys, how long have you been here? I started YouTube in 2012. I didn't start my channel. That's when I came onto the platform I was didn't 2012. Even know it existed in 2012. <laughs> I mean, well, you have to do something I really did. grimy. I, I had a, I did do, when I was homeless, I had to do a video blog. I, the part of my, in my recovery was to do a video blog. And so it was all on unlisted, but I started recording in YouTube in 2012. How am I still hearing this? And I don't even see. And were you, have you always been in Wyoming? No. What are you talking about heels? Okay. I live, All I'm I seeing are my old me. tabs. I don't know how I'm still talking. <laughs> I was <laughs> born and raised here. What's left. going on? I've thought left about going. In, I thought about starting chocolates myself. Yeah, you know. Moved I'm to New York. No, I haven't had anything but a margarita. Oh, came well, home. that'll do it too. Moved, we got came the back. squares of moved, what? going on. Moved to Billings. <laughs> there what are you doing? Who was voices talking to me? How many years were you in Billings? 17. <laughs> I'll be 48 on Thursday. Please give me a sativa. Oh. Happy early birthday. I should do some chocolate. See, now, I'm telling you, if, if I ever had or was involved uh -huh. in a meeting of any <laughs> kind and somebody was there... And was homeless. I'm sorry, you would have been on my couch because that's just me. I, baby, I burned every. No, listen, I had burned every bridge at that point that I had had. I also, trigger warning, my was story's old. Where you were? Um, I mean, like... it was it was March, and I took a bus to the homeless shelter and I checked in to get into their recovery renewal program. Well, good for I, you. Because... I was an awful drunk. I had a horrible, horrible drinking problem. I am 12 years sober. I just sell it three. Wow. Of congratulations. 12, yeah, 12, yeah, congratulations. 12 of 24 was my three. Wow. Of was my 12th year. Like, I'm an I sober drank my person. last drink at 4 p.m. the day that I went to the mission and I've never drank since. Wow. wow. Congratulations. I can't drink because if I drink, I'm going to break out in fucking handcuffs. And the only thing that I'm afraid of is jail. They don't let me have my scissors and my craft think, supplies in I jail. Think that's a good thing to be afraid of. <laughs> I also, hi, I'm Lisa, and I'm also afraid of jail. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's, no, uh, I didn't you, listen. I didn't. I needed to be someplace where I could get better and I could live life on God's terms, not on my terms, and I did it. Good but Lisa, you. a lot of those people, when you said that, well, you would be on my couch. What Voices is saying is true for a lot of people because you look at them and you think, where are your, where's your family? Where are your friends? They burn those bridges. I know, but I, I have And to they'll burn your you, bridge. And here's a true story. Um, 
and I don't know if, if this person's, I don't think it was to, to that level, but I, I gotta tell you, I met someone as a patron. I was the patron and I didn't oh, say God. Patreon. I said patron. Um, I met this person. She was employed somewhere that I patronized a lot. And um, I helped her out in a time when she needed help. And yep. I got to tell you, you it, was she was very working? Short, it was very, yep. It was very okay. short term. It was a matter of weeks, but I gave her a hand when she needed it. And yeah. I got to tell you, it did more for me. Yeah. I yeah, but what I'm saying, I'm not her. saying you shouldn't help people. I'm saying a lot oh, of the yeah, people. No, I get it. No, yeah. I absolutely get it. She didn't have, they, um, she had issues, but not, like, I wasn't worried that she, I knew that she was really grateful that I did extend a hand to yeah. her. And I got to tell you, she, <laughs> She has remembered me for years. Yes, ma'am. Not a Aww. birthday, a Mother's Day, a Christmas, Easter, fucking President's Day. It, there is not yeah. a day that you she saved her life. Yep. You saved her life. You changed no, the direction I didn't. of her life. I didn't. Yes, you did I, because no, she didn't, didn't have anywhere else to go, and she needed that well, help. Okay. And nobody else. So trust me when I tell you, as somebody who's been there, you changed everything about that in a moment when all she needed was kindness, love, and compassion. Yeah, I, I get she it. Did. She did. And and I got to tell you, she just texted me the other day. And she's, I, I was, she's doing really well. And I was just, she still remembers. Like, she, uh -huh. just, uh, she, she reaches out to me all the time. And... It did. It really did more for me, I think, than it did for her. Yeah. And even my That's husband. how it works. You get blessed from That's the how it her works. Life. Right. You blessed her, and she's look at how many times you've been blessed repetitively. Oh, this is what happens if you give somebody a fucking employee discount that they <laughs> what? I did. That's how I met her. She was working in a damn store that I used to go to all the time. That's how we met. And it just kind of like there's nothing wrong with that. Me. Uh, one day I was like, "Hey, if you ever want to make some extra money, give me a call." And she did. And even when she needed to make a little extra money, I still I had to work harder to help her make the money I was paying her because she didn't have a car, so I would have to go pick her up. And but I just. I, know, I always like I always had a soft spot for her and she well she never... was working so she was trying oh absolutely yeah. she was she never it was never like give me no she always yeah. worked but she just I just knew that she and I was I was old enough to be her mom and I just knew that she needed that yeah I had a, I had a version of you Lisa um, when I was going through the mission, I met her in my, uh, sewing class. Uh, that's like that. I came in on a, I came in on a, like a Friday night and, um, I was like legit holding on for a sewing class. Like I was just, I, I just, I just wanted to be able to sit down in front of a sewing machine because nothing else, everything else in my world was foreign. I was sleeping on a mat in a lobby while people were trying to decide whether I was worthy enough to enter the program. Well, they were running background checks on me. I had been submitted for UAs. I went into a homeless shelter that had a, had a, it was a recovery renewal program. Wow. And so, I mean, there was rigorous screening and then I had to be willing to commit. I had in that first like 48 hours, I had to go to the mental health center. I had to go to the doctor, TV, like you name it. 
like you it was so strict then i had to like live there for 18 months every wednesday we had to pack all of our shit up in a black plastic bag so they could come through and spray for bed bugs i'm probably the only person in the history of that building that never got bed bugs because i'm a fucking clean freak that is so sad though mm -hmm. no it made me who i am that's why no, I no so i'm saying it's sad that a lot of people have to get to that that point. point oh yeah i gave her yeah, tough, trust me i gave her tough love more than once no but you didn't um, need to she wasn't mm, suffering was from drugs I, there was a couple times i needed to but well i think it's two different stories you're helping someone that's already helping themselves right very well yes very much but, as far as she always worked etc right voices was suffering from had, yes no definitely think somewhere more like industry if this was the middle think i yes she was very i i guess the best way i could say it was i gave her a hand up not right up, exactly not out exactly um, but right. there were a couple times it was but hey, I honestly, maybe you gave her a hand out a couple of times. So what? You still changed the course of her life and you kept her out of going to that next level of hell. I, I don't think I did that. I, I don't think I changed Well, she's still up and life. functional, right? And she's yes. more than and she still more. reaches out to me. In fact, I'm gonna see her next week. See, you Aww. changed the course I of am. her life. She lived away for a long time and she's come back and she's like, Hey, I'm back in town. And if you ever need, you know, if you ever need somebody to she was my assistant for a while, and I gotta say, I was pretty fucking excited when she said she was back in town. I was like, "Oh damn, I can start working like a damn like an employed person again." I, I mean, I've slacked off myself. She was, I've always had a soft spot for her, but I promise you, ah, uh, she did far more for me than I ever did for her. Are you okay, Catherine? Yeah, I my mean, it does feel said, good to help. My grandpa said that that's the secret to a long-lasting marriage: to love them a little, to to love them a little more than you love yourself, or to love yourself a little more than you there love you them. Go. There's always there one in the welcome, bro, uh, yeah. Charlotte. Anyway, oh, Hondo, 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 I have not seen you in a hot minute. Who the hell Mont are you? And should we should uh welcome pro charlotte look she says first time here oh hi. Hi. hello pro charlotte how are you and to anybody who came in while we were talking hello mystery came in hi mystery how are you i had some hey Ange. i think that's what i tell you what honest to god that the only thing that makes me keep hanging on in this fucking shithole <laughs> is shit like this like the real connections you make with real people i yeah. like i honestly i don't the drama i don't care about that it you know what all, it does for me? well there's we a lot of we all need connections with other people that are somewhat like-minded well, you know what it yeah. does for me? All it does is put money in my pocket so that I can go put gas in the car and drive in the parades with the missing people on it. Like people don't realize that you can totally make money and still do what your main mission is. I listen, I don't care about anybody making money. I what I get offended by are listen, I when it becomes I can get down with somebody who says, hey, I'm here and I want to make money. And if I got to make it off the back of these people. And it's hard work to do these live streams and yeah, videos. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Honda. But I'm watching someone right now that I thought had a chance. I'm not even going to say who it is. And they started getting views and lost their mind. And now it's big, big, nasty thumbnails and big yellow. Uh, it's awful. You know what? I I got to say, mm -hmm. I, I have to. 
I definitely need to, I remind myself all the time that I am very, very blessed. I have been my whole life. And just because my experience is not someone else's experience, I do try and keep in mind this area, like in the middle here where I, I try and, and not, I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I want to identify with and, and relate to the fact that there are people that really do need they're, they're monetized and the, the money they make here is very important in their life. And it, it helps. I don't, them. Fault. I don't I fault don't, anybody for doing it. I don't either. I don't either. My and, problem comes is when you're doing it at the cost of a victim. When you're putting awful. Well, it gets sickening. I mean, when you're putting a pregnant that. child, when you're saying a child, it's just. Yes. Sickening. Oh, that was foul. That yeah, was I can't. I'm no use at all anymore. And it, and it, I honestly, I can't. But I like his girlfriend. So I, don't know I consider myself blessed that I can be repulsed on this hand, but still maintain that part of me where I can. kind i can i can see i can rationalize where you can get carried away with it and the the money and the i i truly feel like a lot of people who've never really felt important in their lives can yes, fall prey to right. the platform where it's like, oh my God, look at me, I'm on TV. And well, yep. did you hear about the woman that threw her, the nine year old and the baby out of the car on the 403? No. Yeah. No. And but she's a perfect example of big interstate. interstate in, in Los Angeles. It was oh, horrible. Why? It was awful. And if you look up her social media, she thought, or she has tons of followers and said that the solar eclipse was going to be the end of the world and all this bullshit. And she will still have people that will have her back. Is she not in jail? Well, look her up. There's not that many nine-year-olds get thrown out of the Is car with the one did you do a video on her the other? No, video? I don't do that. Mm -mm. Blank screen was talking about someone, some. It just, it happened on. Her. Just like a nine-year-old. Every time I leave here, I get kicked off. But if you look up nine-year-old thrown from the car, it should show right up. Oh my God. But the thing is, is how many followers and people that still. Do you think it's some... like that? one up like you they're constant well all the tragedy pims yeah they have to do one up exactly one another, and they're in competition with themselves at the same time like okay yeah. well so what is what is bull scorn headed to tennessee for what what does she think she's gonna oh do? i don't she well, thinks she's she running it already would. She wants to get into a battle with the proud feet so that she can sue them and take the uh -huh. take the RV. That's exactly what she yes, oh, yes. yes. I could not to, when she was talking about that. Standards as if that's like her. Oh my god. She did so the cool. same thing with Quentin Simon's grandmother. I'm gonna yeah. own your RV. Oh my god. So that's what I was yeah. gonna say yeah. earlier, heels or uh Lisa <laughs> was this is they okay, so they learned this stuff. When they all got together in Tennessee, they practiced it, right? And then the band broke up. Because, see, I was supposed to be on that original Tennessee trip. Oh, my God. So how did that? You know, I didn't even. I mean, it's been several months. But when I heard that you you were going to be part of that, how did that happen? See, because Voices, okay, I only so know you from being on Queen Bee's panel. I don't know you from anything prior to that. So when I hear. Yeah. That you were part of, like, you were supposed to be, how do you put it? You were you were the uh, original part of the band. 
I was. I was. I was. I was there for that. So how? Which one Were of the Beatles? Molly's mod okay, so, or? No. Okay. So I met Molly in Colorado. At I went what? to Denver. I went to Denver. Okay. And I met Molly and Critical K and Whistledown and a dozen other people like Siren and Save Robbie. Where? And, At Watts? Did you guys go to their? Uh, Wait, we went. The meeting we went to the meeting? restaurant. We went to yeah. the restaurant where okay. Chris and yeah. Nicole oh, went yeah, for their yeah. last Something date. Brewing. What was that called? Oh, I don't even remember what it was. I, the, the I Red remember Dog. hearing about Red Dog. on Critical K's. This has been years back before I the, ever had a channel. I did not take a rock from the house. I didn't get out of the car when I went. I went the week prior by myself and I didn't get out of the car. I did not go with them when they went to the house. I don't get the fascination at all. You don't? I do. I no, do. Oh, I two little kids were putting oil tanks you know, and dairy. And but I fascination. It makes me, I, I don't get it. I mean, those cops that pulled those kids out of there, lifelong nightmares. Okay. okay so so I met Molly there and then. We, I saw her going around there. <laughs> We kind of, we, like, I was in, hey, I was in all these chats after that. And then Hi, thank you. when everything started after the, after the petito stuff, that's when Molly was like, in my next we time need, time. yep, we need, we need to do this for Summer Wells. And cause she, that's what Betty met Molly and JLR at the petito outside the petito home because she flew down there and yep, put a laundry basket that. so you used to go and and do the same thing like betty does no i've never no no, no. no in fact yeah, no, that's I mean, why she didn't get to go. restaurant and all that stuff that's what no. these other people are doing right no we met at a meet and greet at the end at the after the end of well, the watts we all met at a meet and greet in colorado oh uh, i didn't see I just remember yes. hearing about oh. it. And that was when I listened to Critical K. Yeah. Um, and then and after I, that. I didn't know anybody else, really. I just, but I recognized the names. So after that, then they, let's see, the Petito thing happened. And then she hooked up with Betty. And then she wanted to build a nonprofit. And I had built a nonprofit before. And done a couple of them. And at that point, they... Um, that was what I got brought in for. And then we found out that the name Heels on the Ground was taken by a veterans group. And then the wheels all fell off and I didn't go. And then they went to Tennessee and they caused all Betty kinds of did not want you to go. She did not want Laura to go. She mm -hmm. was making sure that all these people, I'm, I remember it like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. That was so shitty. And you were but telling then, the truth. And that's the, I, was. I did not like you a bit. But I'm when sorry. you said they're, well, okay. You were going to go with them. And I was like, why would you do that? Anyway, when you said they're victims, whether you like it or not, they're victims. And Molly and Betty are like, oh, you get out of here. They're not victims. They're, they are. Of course they are. They are. And that was why that was why Whistledown and I were going heels because we knew where the line was drawn. I would not have been. Listen, w there were myself, Whistledown, myself and support with Stefa had a backup plan. We had a black backup plan. Whistledown had uh, we were Whistledown at an Airbnb and Stefa was going to drive down. So that we didn't have to go be trapped anywhere if we didn't have our rental car. I mean, there was a whole nother set of stuff that was put into the works. I was going to fly from here to Denver and then Whistledown and I would fly together from Denver to Knoxville. We had a plan. And when the wheels, we from the get-go, it was 60-40. 60 percent of it with the wheels were going to come off before the plane took off. Why do you think my ticket didn't get bought? But yet she collected like three times the amount of my plane ticket. They were collecting, especially Molly. She was collecting money left and right. Why did she? People I mean, were worked up. Stupid question because I mm -hmm. kind of answer my own question. But why? 
So Molly came to YouTube because of the Watts case and then just no. exploded. No, Molly was on YouTube long before that. Oh, Molly was. was on YouTube when she was originally came to YouTube. She was under under the name Jake's mom. And she okay. would do like a like a motivational luncheon. Like do an upload and like these little motivational oh, her stuff. Like so it was back when she was her... definitely when the, I, I mean this is kind of rhetorical because I can under she can be entertaining as hell. So when I ask what is it that made her channel blow up, I, I've kind of answered my own question, but Han goes flirting with you, Lisa. Well, I, I thought he was flirting with you. I told you in the back chat he was looking for you. Oh, and I, I sent him a little XOXO because I haven't seen him in a long time. <laughs> I, I do he's been, wanting, he's been wanting to hug you up, hug you up, heels. <laughs> I yeah, do believe that, that that really, you know, because she made fun of Shanann. Um, okay, see, I've, you know what? Here, Here's honest, hand to God. The only thing, when you say made fun of Shanann Watts, do you know what came to my mind? Immediately. Lan Lana yeah, Banana. Lana. Yeah, Lana. Lana Banana. Heels, do you remember sending me the clip of her? Uh -huh. Yeah. I didn't even know that was going on. And you, okay, so he'll send me a clip of Lana Banana in court with Vanessa. And I said, oh my God, Ooh. I know this bitch, but I know her from Watts. Ah, Cappy's got it, you guys. Then she got into the Nick Carter essay. See, it's essay. So I, I don't, I, I like, I don't pay attention what? to that because that's so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Um, and then after that was Watts. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Hey, okay, Kathy. So, thank you. See, I don't yeah, follow, but, I've never followed like celebrity shit. I don't even, which boy band was he in? I'm, I know it was Nick Carter. The, okay. Okay. Boys. Um, boys. Okay. But see, Molly is a perfect example of having to do more and more and be, and be, Crazier and crazier. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she just got, she went off the rails. I think she's somebody who definitely feeds off of. What's Here's wrong with what chaos. I about her? I can it's see chaos. there are things I see in her that I can identify with. It not all that shit, but people who. When I tell you that I get gassed up, if I know that somebody's entertained by something I say, that that makes me. But I, unlike her, I know where my limit is. But I, but I can, I can definitely relate to and understand wanting to seeing that people are entertained by something you say and wanting to give it to them. But. I'm only going to go so far. I think her, she's obviously going to go much further than I would. Well, she kept going further and further. And then she's showing a guest in her house. Oh, I remember that. Their driver's life. I mean, that's. And, and that, oh hand to God, God, that is when I first heard of Queen Bee. And. I remember I wandered into the chat one day and she was talking about Dolly and I said something about, I don't speak in crown. And that was one of the first times I remember being at queen bees. And I was like, wow, what, well, you know, I kind of like the vibe of this place. She's, she's kind of like my spirit animal. And I went back and I went back again. And at that time, Voices was on all the time. Heels, you were on all the time. And I knew you. Um, you were probably one of the, probably one of the only panel guests, the regular panel guests that I know. But yeah, I, there was that girl, Voices, yep, yep, Willow. Yep. Grain. Cappy. Uh, Cappy and Ellie. And B-Tim. And there was, 
kind of like many people, there was just something about her that I identified with and kept me coming back. And it's one, it is, it's, I think I heard Ellie describe it best. It's just one of those things that you can't necessarily quantify or put your finger directly on. Um, but she obviously connects with a lot of people and people who what? don't connect with that are, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, Molly I, I, was universally hated. I mean, but she couldn't have been. And she's back on. No, well, when she went to, uh, okay, she had to have bought a lot of those at the end because she got like, what was it, forty thousand or something like in a month? I think that was during the Marvon Dre stuff, wasn't it? I don't know, but she got that was I didn't awful. Watch any of that? You want to hear something funny? I avoided it like the plague. When me and JP that did garbage bag sweep, probably two. I don't know, maybe two weeks ago. JP played Molly. JP always has the hard job. She she does the heavy great. lifting, and I just ask questions. Uh, but I do come up with the questions. <laughs> um, and I hand to God. We never, the only thing the two of us ever uh, collab on is who she is going to parody. And I, my job is to do the questions and she does what she does. She does not know the questions ahead of time. And I don't know anything about what she's doing ahead of time. Um, but it just so happened that we had scheduled this parody we we trade on and off. We do hers, mine, hers, mine. And it was my turn that day. I was the hostess. And I had the misfortune of picking a day when, I don't know, but there were just fucking fires everywhere on YouTube. And we had, I think, maybe 25 people at the most in chat when we did that parody. And God bless her. That's how I know she's like me and she just likes doing it because neither one of us cared how many people were there, but. I didn't even get a notification. I haven't seen it. A lot of people say that. Yeah. I haven't I, even seen it. YouTube is all messed up. It's True been story. really wonky lately. Molly, it's been terrible. Molly came in the chat and uh -huh. heels can tell you it was really her supposedly. Um, and she was not happy and she demanded a link. And oh my God. For a parody. We're not even watching the chat. Oh my God. Now Heels did text me and I saw it and I was like, yeah. I don't remember this. I was like, yep, I'm busy. And no, I texted you. Yes, yeah. It wasn't me. I'm sorry. It was, it was crazy nurse texting me. I was talking and and looking at heels avatar but yes crazy mm -hmm. nurse texted me because you have I it on your desk and it said molly's <laughs> in the chat and i was like nope and god bless her she was very sweet and polite and full of southern charm and she said uh molly said are you so you're mocking me and crazy nurse said uh nobody's mocking you they parody um. everybody and she so had somebody crazy. with her who was also demanding a link. And it was like, they won't even put a link down. And it was like, no, bitch, we didn't call for you. And no, we're not putting a link down. But I thought to myself, you're, you're worried about me? Like, nobody knows who I am. Nobody watches me. I'm a nobody. And, and how did she find out? You're here demanding a link. Well, that's the... That's the uh, six hundred million dollar question. Who knows? I think I know. I think I already I told think you. I I, know too. Yeah. I think we're in agreement on that. Yes. Especially now. Uh, and we're going to be doing another parody in about two weeks. Yes. Due to scheduling, you know, we're we're very busy women. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look for the Being end of the month. 
the end of the month, we're going to do another uh, parody, a brand new one. I think you guys will be entertained. Um, it was funny when JP did the one of uh, Spinner. He was <laughs> like, it was mean and it wasn't funny. Well, maybe not to you, you know, but it was funny. She hasn't even come close to even touching. And you know what? That's interesting that you bring that up because I... You know, as I put my war paint on, I I listen to <laughs> lots of people and I, I make notes as I'm listening about things I want to address. And I have a timestamp written down concerning him and some, oh, thoughts yeah. on, some thoughts on whether or not he was always going to be painted with an unfair... Oh, is this the night he said I was blackout drunk? So no. forgive me. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. no. Ba but basically, here is what here is what it was. It was well. I kind of me, not me, but I'm <laughs> the channel I was watching. Kind of said, well, you know what? I kind of feel like no matter what this guy does, because he had a faux pas. Um, and someone accused him of laying hands on a woman. Mm -hmm. I feel like he is forever, no matter what, he is forever going to be viewed as the guy that lays hands on women. That's I, exactly right. I have never said <laughs> anything of the sort. And nope. as I just, as I was, you know, putting my lashes on, putting my war paint on, I'm sitting there saying, ah, bah, 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 no, 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 no. I'm just saying for me, as your just average everyday woman, um, I personally, as someone who considers herself to be of average intelligence, fairly well-spoken, fairly rational, I would... I would never hold against him previous words if if he ever decided to just say, you know what, listen, I've said some things in the past that I probably should not have said. I was probably too aggressive. Blah, 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 blah. You know, no, he has what? to cry and cry, and cry and cry and cry. But I'm just saying, just let's pretend that he said. <laughs> Neighborhood of Bank time. I, I shouldn't have said this. I shouldn't have said that. Um, I would like to move forward on a new, just let's wipe the slate clean. I can tell you right now that if I ever heard those words, I would absolutely never be someone to say, no, fuck you. You said this, you said that. No, I would not. But it, to me, it's kind of a straw man because to say that he is being unfairly portrayed as what I'm going to kindly and generically paint as anti-woman, we'll just say. Um... I, what I was saying to myself, listening to it was he has earned every bit of that. And in the event that he ever did choose to swallow a little pride, eat a little humble pie and say, Hey, I got caught up. That's not me. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I, it's not fair to say that. Every woman here, because of something he said in the past, would automatically say, well, sorry, you're irredeemable. No, I don't agree with that. But here's the rub. I don't ever see him being able to say mm -hmm. any of what I just said. And I just know as Agreed. a woman who's made many mistakes in her life, um, 
I know there's a lot to be said for falling on the sword. That's. I agree. 100%. I'll just leave it there. Yeah. I still believe in redemption. Well, I saw him in Willis chat saying he was blackout drunk. And so. I, yep. I heard, you know, I heard that. Like, before. yeah, blackout drunks kill people in cars. So. That's right. Nobody gives a shit that you were blackout drunk. I don't even care. But to use that as an excuse. But then remember, he really didn't say this, this, and that. But you were blackout drunk. You know what I mean? Like he's remembering how bad he wasn't. Blackout is blackout. You don't remember, right? Uh, I didn't yeah. know he was Napoleon Dynamite. That's so interesting. Now I remember him. From before. Blackout Wait. is also, there are uh, in and out. brief moments of yeah. in and out. Yes. Yeah. My, I had a friend wrap her car around a tree during a blackout oh, yeah. dark. Yes. So. I, I, I'm not even talking about what, what is the reasoning behind the behavior? Because to me, that's irrelevant. I'm just talking about, I'm strictly speaking to what was said, not what was said before. But what I heard was, you know, hey, because this community is, you know, X percentage of women, he's fucked. No matter what he does, he's fucked. He yeah. could... He could come to Jesus tomorrow and say, hey, you know, listen, I said some things I shouldn't have said. I'm sorry. I would like to wipe the slate clean and start <clears throat> from zero moving forward. And it was this person's opinion that no matter what he does, he can't get past this. He's going to be persecuted in perpetuity. And I'm yeah. just here to say bullshit. If I heard a sincere, hey, I fucked up. I, I'm i sorry, but moving forward, I would like you to just judge me on what my actions are moving forward. I can tell you right now, speaking only for myself, I would absolutely say, okay. I don't ever see that happening. See, I see someone who's too full of hubris. Mm -hmm. and I've seen him apologize, though. But I've seen him apologize, too. But yeah, it was someone that came into your... If you apologize, but then keep doing the same thing. Right. right, right. And I've never said, because I know he doesn't probably have it on his record. I mean, people have put it up. But, but the way he talks to women... Record, ever. And I won't because oh, I don't somebody care. put it up on uh, community cards. It doesn't matter. All I'm saying is this: it doesn't even matter. Yeah, the way he is. talks to women, women who have been abused, shy away from that. You know what and I mean? It's women like who have not been abused don't appreciate. Yeah. So it. for him to be so obnoxious, yeah, no one should say that he has charges. No one should say that. Yeah, no. But to say I, no. it's scary. For some women, when you curse and yell at them and all Listen. that, well, that's okay if they say that. Don't do it. Listen, when you, you can feel Triggering. any way you want about anyone. I don't take that away from Yeah, anyone. I don't give a fuck about his record. But if <laughs> the way he spoke to JP within three seconds of her coming on the panel, and I don't even yes. remember whose panel it was, but he said, no, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, you fucking yeah, cunt. No, no, well, you, said, you lost. You lost. Like, that is, that is, that's uncalled for. Yes, it is. It's totally uncalled for. The other thing, uh, the other side of that is, if you are someone who is easily triggered by that behavior, then don't watch. Yeah, and I don't, my thing it's is. It's that simple this right here well he doesn't do it on his panel that's the thing yes, right here because they right. don't watch him i do not care yeah i don't either about anything he 
I couldn't be bothered to take the, why would I be bothered to take the time to try and find out about anything in his life? I wouldn't. I don't care. I don't care. I, right. I'm right. only speaking about what, what has happened. Yes, to you. I know. It's so funny. That's, it. That's all. Nothing else. I swear to God, they are like a parody of themselves. When I go over there to clip, I'm laughing because it's like, and know. blah, blah, blah said this. And then he goes off about blah, blah, blah. And then she goes, um, and then, you know, it's like all they do is bitch for an hour, an entire hour. Oh, like Betty. <laughs> her being the straight man. I don't, watch. I don't watch them. I know, but it's fun. I'm telling you, it's a parody itself. And then when they get mad at people for making fun of their parody or, or their, I'm sorry, <laughs> lighten the fuck up already. Just lighten up. Right. Exactly. All publicity is good. For, I, I honestly, I'm kind of torn between wondering if it's a if it's a strategy. It is like it's like that. My, it's like uh, De, De, what was it, Debbie Downer? The whole entire. And uh, listen, I never gave a flip about him, but I, Emmy. I, I, I think I was around before she was. Oh, yeah. I like to listen to Captain do it. I, I really liked Emmy. Um, she just made me a mod one day. I made him a mod or her a mod. Um, and what's uh -huh. interesting is, and I really liked her. I, listen, I'm not going to say anything bad about Emmy because she's never said Nobody a word born against me. He does the heavy lifting, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying. It was funny because I can go back to my up. mind. And I can remember when you started to see the shift. And I remember somebody else who used to be a mod. Because mm -hmm. I don't give a shit about a wrench, okay? I do mm -hmm. not. But when somebody... Is it like the end of even the when, word vagina? Even when I pulled, even when I pulled <laughs> the diamond wrench, I, you know, I explained why I was doing it. And, you know, it was me and someone else who both lost our wrenches at the same time with absolutely no, well, the funny thing is, this person who may or may not be on this panel actually said to me, "You do that again? Hey, do you, did you do you know that we lost our wrenches a few <laughs> weeks ago?" And I was like, "Oh my God, you're right, we did." And like a, whole, like a whole shit show happened. Well, guys, and by a whole shit just, show, I mean her. That's because I had to go. I had, I told Tina she had to pull your wrenches. Oh my god. Tina. Yeah, right. I remember when that book came out. That's what's hilarious. But yeah, I I, 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 remember, yeah. Being, I remember it was pointed out to me. Mm -hmm. He's a douche. And I was like, I don't know. I, I don't like, you know, she's sweet and I like her. And when she's live, if I'm around, I go hang out. And it it let's just say that it took a little while to convince me that things were not the same. Things were not as I remembered. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, no. And I don't think Emmy has probably had a guy on the internet. It's easy to do to be a white knight for someone, and probably she hasn't had a lot I never of that. Had that deep on it. Did you guys see? I just like shrunk six inches. <laughs> what happened? Whoa. I took my shoes off. Oh. So I think that's I what it is. So I don't good. think it's a, I think Emmy is a sweet person away from, but. Oh, absolutely. But absolutely. she's just going along with. I, I, I think he's. Hi, Ann Carter. <laughs> and 
Yeah, I I don't know. I I didn't appreciate her thinking she was going to out me for being Brittany Pierce, but whatever. <laughs> I will say this. That video, she was enjoying that, that video so you much. Did, that really, like, honestly, that made me sad. I, I hated that video. You hated it? Stop it. I, I hated it because of what it I hated it because of what because commentary at the end. That's why I hated it. Well, what video? I know I got all. I of thought it was well, but she thought she was she going to really get. Yeah, Heels was a catfish. Yeah, she really thought I was well, using Heels that got picture. The last word, I can tell you that that was. But it doesn't even look. The picture doesn't look like. It's not about that. Yeah, I know. Stop it. I love you. Anyway, <laughs> so I thought that was funny. I mean, I thought it was funny that someone thinks they... I mean, you can put the pictures through that where you can find them, right? Like you click on the picture and it'll show you... I don't, I don't you. know. I don't do all that weird shit, so I don't know. I'm with you. I don't, you. I don't do any of that shit either. Yeah. Like, I don't even know how. That. Exactly. It's, so on my that? phone, it's a click of a button on my gallery. I'm sure it is. Oh. I, do. <laughs> I just don't care. <clears throat> I I, it, that fancy. Nor do I. Okay, yeah. well, obviously, Emmy did. So she needs someone to teach I her how to know that. I'm put sorry. that right I through. That I didn't either. It took Wait, me a long what did time. Do? I missed this. See, I, I, on I my remember. gallery, I there's that. No, yeah, there's, I just pull it up. Hold on. There's some kind of button. image search. No, I was talking it's about Emmy. Yeah, we're gonna pull up. Oh. We're gonna I thought up, I was uh, the internet video. sleuth, and oh, clearly what I the hell happened? Everything. What did what did she do to you, Heels? <laughs> she well, I was in Willows one night, and they something happened <clears throat> with catfishing <throat> with um, another two creators, and so <laughs> I think that was the subject. And in chat, Emmy says, "Well, you're catfishing with." Okay, I'm putting the tone in. I shouldn't do that. She it's, said, you're catfishing with your picture that looks just like Britney Spears. No, so, it doesn't. So I went to oh, clip well, them it's, it's <laughs> about it. something else, and she's talking about it. No. She's like, yeah, her picture is um, something. I have it on the video. Oh, that's rich when you're not showing your picture. Uh, Dude, and she I don't sucks what you were saying. I mean, that's not here. Heels, you and have your clothes on. You can't be Britney Spears. I know. It's not about <laughs> that. But it's just, you know, the irony of if you're going to try and point that out, well, then I think you better show show and tell. But um, how she says there are some people around here that aren't using their real pitch. And while she's saying it, she's got a an AI right. produced. Oh, here picture. we are. <laughs> All right, we're going to exactly. play it. We're going to play it. Hold on. So, is this, uh, like, as the catfish, on, bro? Well, and, and I, I mean, when scared. you're catfishing, aren't you trying to get Look with totally somebody? different? Well, no, I don't think well, catfish doesn't uh, necessitate getting with somebody, but we're going to show it. Well, I, I promise y'all. Is somebody that you're wanting to feed you, fuck you, or finance you? So, okay. which one of those three bills would you None. like? Because my Not one. Of Not one. All Not right, one. stand by. Here we go. Those aren't my feet, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Catfish feet. Okay. Creepy desert woman. Who's, I mean, who, uh, who does that? Adamant to be the newest dum dum <laughs> over at the hive. She took all of the lies that Becky's been telling about me that have been disproven. And she, she repackaged them, and she presented them as though they were facts. Yeah. And then she got a copyright strike. About it. That was a real sloppy attempt, Becky. You're gonna have to try way fucking harder than that. And uh, oh, and the whole time that this was happening, How uh, did you get this Becky was a moderator in the chat and just repeatedly saying my name as though like. That's yeah, here you see. My photo was doxxed, so I'm pretty sure if you want to see what I look like, you can find it somewhere. Also, I don't know who asked that question, but the, they'll they'll figure it out. I, I say whatever I want when I have a you know a comment. I just fucking say it. So. People like you have to deal with it. Uh -huh. <laughs> also, I didn't accuse someone of catfishing whenever I don't show my face. Okay. So there's that. So, Flo, because that was really the only thing I wanted to talk about today. So, um, 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fat catfish as well. Um, so I'm, all they do for an hour. Speaking of catfishing, most people have an avatar that probably isn't their actual photo. <laughs> you think? So Somebody that would just be a more And I can think of one person who others. I won't mention. Huh? That has a... I said some people just take more artistic liberty than others. <laughs> photo of what I think of as Britney Spears 20 years ago. I video know, where Britney Spears had my very, if my very life depended on it, I could not have come up with that. So God bless her for... <laughs> wow. I mean, truly, if you said... Preach! Your life is on the line. Tell me who appeared in a but, latex red cat suit. I, I would have had no clue. I would have said J Lo. Red suit on with the. I wouldn't have known. Big ponytail. But wait. That's what the avatar looks like. Britney Spears in her twenties. I would call that a catfish. Uh, Just saying. Wait. Wait. Heels. Don't you have that on the, the heels? That was at thing in Las Vegas. Uh, Reality wedding, but I forget the name of it. Oh. Somebody in chat will know. But what were you going to ask me? Well, don't you say on your avatar when you have a live? Yes. The, the picture is all and so on. And so, so am I. Thank you. Well, okay. I've got, we're getting to the good part. So Okay. Can, okay. Hold on. We're going to right. start from right here. All right. Nobody's going to talk, and we're going to start right here. Somebody knows. <laughs> That's what the avatar looks like, Britney Spears in her 20s. I would call that a catfish. Just saying. So yeah, if you're going to pull out one catfish, yeah. pull them all out. Boy, the music. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was some dramatic music. Well, it was a dramatic that was point, that was I epic. Think. And that was epic. if the point was lost on anyone, then yeah, and well, know, I don't know what to say. And and that's the truth. I and would that's the truth. not. That's not. I'll be remembered how I want to be. You know what I mean? It's not mm -hmm. up to some little lemon head or <laughs> whatever. See, I always thought catfishing was. You're trying. I mean, that obviously is not what I look like right now. No. Okay. I, well, and the I'm going to say crazy. That are lobbing bombs don't show themselves. So. Well, I've seen her picture, and well, I haven't. Seen she just picture. looks like, like an average person. I would never say anything, but what I don't people think do. I've seen either of their pictures. Yeah. So. She, and I don't need to. It. I, <laughs> that's the thing doesn't matter to me. Yeah, who cares? It never even uh, really occurred to me. I mean, if I were going to go on a dating site, then yeah. Mm. But I don't think they... good, I think that's a good point and it if it, maybe it's cuz they the two of them are younger than us and I have to say when when I hear the word catfish kind of like crazy nurse isn't that like a date isn't that like you're on a dating thing I, yeah that's exactly i kind of get so that sunny. so i can but <laughs> now they have video you chat with them i mean yes, yes. dating but sites a long time ago time, were different. right exactly so when You'll we see. hear catfish it might mean a different yeah, so it's totally sorry. different That's... for these youngins, okay? Yeah, used to you didn't realize what you were getting into until you got to dinner. Exactly. Right? Or the serial killer that <laughs> you, you met up and you with. Had yeah. the, you had the friend who it was like, okay, you need to call me. Uh, yeah. I'm meeting this guy at 6.30. You need to call me at 6.45, and if I smash the phone down, that means I'm good. If yeah. I say, oh, God. Oh, okay. I'll be there, and oh, just give me thirty minutes, and I'll be there. What about uh, the ones that were at ten at two, but when you woke up at ten the next morning, they were a fucking two. I <laughs> know. Uh, oh, yes, I think we've all heard that one. Yeah. I don't know that whole video. Like it. There was this, it, it was the last 
The last few seconds were the most impactful. They Hi. were. Heels, I'm the music? Over here filming for you. And, and the music. You are? I'm over that here. That music was a little dramatic. I'm loving it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I am. Um, God, I'm so. And something happened to my notepad. YouTube is showing up on my notepad. So I'm half asleep trying to get my thumbnail up. Has anybody else had YouTube doing weird things in other applications? Somebody else that. said that the other day or today or yesterday. No, yes. it's weird. I'm not on Some that. weird application just came up. It was during a live or something. I'm trying to remember, but yes. Yeah, I have a, an icon on my desktop that says some kind of YouTube and it's my notepad that is playing YouTube videos. Yeah. And I just have to find was on court TV tonight. Oh shit. Oh, they've all been. Oh on, my God. The last one. Um, we got, uh, with Vinny discussing the Madeline Soto, Stephen Stearns case. But who was on the other night? There was somebody besides him. Trev. Oh yeah. Yeah. And. Somebody else. Yeah, but, but yeah. So. Uh, You're fucking kidding me. I forgot what I was going to say. And then like if you leave YouTube for any amount of time and come back. You're not on the same place anymore. Or at least nope. for me. I have to go <laughs> yeah, back I'm and find. I'm about to take these 10 days. I'm about to take these 10 days and reset my algorithm. Take those 10 days and go to like Bimini or something. And yeah, like, right? Oh. No, I don't like to travel. Dude, I drive a thousand miles a week. That I don't need to go days. flying somewhere too. Oh. And who's so, going to do the thousand miles that if I go travel somewhere, who's going to do the thousand miles that have to be done while I'm gone? What? Girl, it's your cross to bear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, it, it, we've been on here almost four hours. Yes, we have. My ass is asleep. Time flies when you're uh, drinking cheap champagne. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun, as usual. As usual. I'm going to file a complaint with the... What? The Vuv... What did I say the shit was called? Vueva. Vueva Duvernay. Duvernay. Tell them that it... The bottle... Duvernay to the last drop. Yeah, I've... I have polished off this whole bottle. Woohoo! Good for you. Uh, Alexandra, my ice like... is melted. I'm going to leave yes. the uh, ice bucket right where it is. I highly recommend a Tylenol and an aspirin prior to bed. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> and Both? a big glass of water. Yeah. I always have water uh, bedside. I I forgot. I neglected to ask when we all came oh. uh, on panel what do you have on board? <laughs> oh, I had, uh, what is it called? Chocolate. Tame and Jack chocolate. Margarita. Is that Red Mr. Pibb? Huh? Yeah. Is that, I didn't even know they made that shit anymore. $12.18 a 12 pack. Yes, baby, they Isn't do. Isn't that insane? Oh my God. My I husband know. brings Diet Dr. Pepper and Diet Mountain Dew. And if it's not buy one, get one. It is how much did he tell me? A six pack, eight, eight or nine dollars. That is yeah, good. that's what it is for Dr. Insane. Pepper. Oh my god, it's insane. I don't I don't even know how people oh god. I know it, it is it's crazy. It is oh and let me say real quick, <laughs> that was not medical advice, not intended for uh I did not no. do a diagnosis or no. anything else, blah blah no blah. No medical advice. <laughs> okay. We are not I was just some friends telling our other friend to take care of ourselves. Exactly. I can't believe it's Saturday. going to be Saturday. Oh, my God. It is Saturday, isn't it? This week? No, not oh, yet. Not eight here. Minutes. Eight minutes. It's Saturday. Yes. It's only 10 o'clock here. This would just be about the time oh, the bar is well, starting to get bed. busy. Well, yeah, I got to go. What time zone are you in, Voices? Mountain. Mountain. Okay, so it's Eastern Central Mountain Pacific. Okay. Yep. Yes. Alaska and Hawaii. 
Well, ladies. Yes. It was a this pleasure. This was fabulous. I had fun. fun as always. I love all of you. This I'm clicking off. All right. Good Listen. night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Get the book. Good Boys, night. Get the book. It's nice hanging out with you. Come back Thank anytime. You. Get the book. Me Read too. This. It's Me great. Too. <laughs> what is it? Colleen? Who? It ends with us. Colleen Hoover? What's it about? It is about... Lily hasn't always had it easy, but that never stopped her from working hard for the life she wants. She's come a long way from the small town in Maine where she grew up. She graduated college, moved to Boston, started her own business. So when she feels a spark with a gorgeous neurosurgeon named Riley Kincaid, everything in Lily's life suddenly seems almost too good to be true. Which Riley's assertive. Sense. And it's, it's, I have seen so many people raving about this book okay, and it is absolutely amazing. And there's a second book. book so two. it's fiction. Is it yep. fiction? Okay. Yep. Yep. And book two is it starts with us. Hang on a second. Oh, well, Lisa, I love I you, darling. Love you too. And I see you soon. Out. Yes, oh, of course. Thank you for out. having me. Thank you for oh. having me over. Okay, I will talk to you later. All so right. it See ends with us and it starts with us. Okay. <laughs> book one, book two. All right. Anyway. It was nice hanging going. out with you. Thank you so much for having me. I so appreciate you. Your house is fun. I appreciate you too. Good night. Nice Bye. All right, kids. Thanks for hanging out with us. This was a blast. I cannot believe it's been four hours. That is far too long for any of us to be talking. So I'm going to wish you good night. And I don't know. I'm kind of digging this. All joking aside, it's been really nice having. I highly recommend no matter what it is that gets you out of your your rut. Um, even though I feel like I have a very busy, fulfilled life outside of YouTube, this whole like um, house renovation has shown me that even though that is very true, just stepping away for a little while, it it really gives you such a perspective, like you kind of see the long game. So I highly recommend, even though I understand for many people, this truly is a, like this is your, not everybody can just get in the car and go real life. Um, I fully understand and appreciate that not everybody has, for whatever reason, a full real life, friends, family, etc. cetera. Um, so even if you're, it just really has like this, this whole thing, renovating my house and I don't, I'm not talking big structural shit. I'm just talking new floors, just changing up all the, the decor that goes along with doing all that. I have a new appreciation for when you step away from it, it's very easy to see from the outside looking in how easy it is to get caught up in all of this and how very little importance. While I understand that it, it, if you're isolated for any reason, I can very much appreciate and understand how important this, this can be. It, it really is. You form these relationships, this, it becomes like, even though we're all confined to the screen, it, it can feel like a, a tether to 
the real world. I, I mean, I get it. Um, so whatever it is for you that causes you to be able to see it from the outside looking in, whether it's sprucing up your house or mowing your, your yard or going to the store rather than getting it delivered, whatever it is, do it because it puts all of this not well, it puts it in perspective and shows you how unimportant, important while at the same time being unimportant it can be. So, all right, I'm done uh, being a philosopher and thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. This was, I, I don't know. I kind of like this absence makes the heart grow fonder. And I don't know, maybe once a week is the way to go. Although as soon as I get my house back together, which is hopefully this weekend, you know what that means? I'm going to have a little bit of time on my hands during the week. And I'm sure I'm going to come in here and want to philosophize. Is that even a word? I don't know. I want to come in and give more, more commentary while looking down the bottle of some cheap champagne. All right, kids. Thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate you. And until we meet again, have a good night, pussycats. <laughs>